Never mind beans, look at jeans down there! Everybody welcome to the stream. Look at our adorable little cat who's behind the menu now, which is upsetting, but... Um... Yeah, welcome back to Travis Strikes again. This might, as I was saying in the pre-streamy portion... This is obviously now we're on VOD territory chat, you know how it is. Um... Might be... The final one. Anyone who missed last week, by the way? Yep. Okay, I need to very quickly clarify something, don't I? Uh, anyone who missed last week? First off, anyone who missed any of it? This guy here is bad man. That... That dog right here is his daughter. Bad girl. Um, she died in the first No More Heroes game. I say she died. We killed her in the first No More Heroes game because we, she was an assassin and we were an assassin and you know how it is. Um, but this guy here came to go and get her resurrected. We ended up inside this rare video game console that like tries to kill you or whatever. And yeah, now his daughter is uh, a dog. So that's a thing that happened. Wait, did we do the ramen blog as well last time? We need to check that. Let's have a look and see if we can get a new t-shirt while we're here, chat. We had the Hollow Knight one all last stream. Do I want another... Do I want another game up front and center on my shirt? Thumper is a fucking wonderful game. I played that on stream. As is super hot. Just Shapes and Beats is a game I really need to play at some point. Salt and Sanctuary, actually. Lynchy bought me that. Very kind of a golf story is supposed to be fun. Stanley Parable, Undertale... Rain World I've heard lots of good things about. I might have to check that out at some point, that's a Metroidvania. La Milana too. I tell you what, I'd like to try La Milana if it wasn't so obtuse and impossible to actually play, like, without a guide. I don't think I'd be able to get, like, maybe two of the puzzles done. To be honest. The Messenger, yeah, we did a full playthrough of that and the DLC. Rain World is very nice. Yeah, I've heard lots of good things. Also, Nettleproof, welcome into the stream. Gris, very nice looking game. Gorn, you know, I played some Gorn. That is a VR game. That game makes me want to vomit. But it's fun. It's one of those games that doesn't have a good, like, movement system. But let's get a Valhalla t-shirt. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. Alright, okay. So, where we left off last time, let's have a look, shall we? I believe... Yep, yeah, we did Serious Moonlight. Killer Marathon is incomplete as a game. From what I understand. Until we get to the DLC. Did that say mild clear? Oh, they're all mild clear. Oh, it's because I think yeah, okay, no, um the the difficulty level is sweet, bitter, mild, isn't it? Mild's middle difficulty. I didn't change it, right? No, okay, we're good. Oh look, we got like Gene Gene Status's trailer. We've got one more Death Ball stamp, chap. Number seven. You know what that means, though? Those of you who have seen this game, we are going straight into a... a visual novel. If you've not seen the game, then you know. It's me and Martian Gothic. I'd love to play it, but basically you need to walk through for like, the whole fucking game. It's a game that's on my list of uh, potential bonus things for, for Halloween one year. It's like budget Resident Evil. Quark glu Gluon Plasma. Yep. Love that episode of Star Trek. Okay. Uh, is he okay? Cyberpunk had a small update fixing the police bug. Good job, CD Projekt Red. One down, 5,000 to go. <clears throat> okay. This guy was kind of posh. Sorry, Trav. For calling you all the way out here. 
What happened? Huh? You're sporting a weird aura, man. Have a look at this. Oh, it's a guy with a card for a face. What's this supposed to be? <laughs> okay. Please find me. Kamui, what the hell? <laughs> Jean! <clears throat> I told you! This guy's got dead eyes! Whatever, fine. I trusted you. I can't turn down a friend's request. That's what I want to hear, Trav. Let's do this properly. Best out of five. Now, for the first assassin. Oh no, I missed the intro. Welcome in, Furby. What do you mean, best out of five? Oh, Tra Travis! I'll take you on! He's <laughs> perky and young. That's his immediate perky young voice chat. I love the perky young ones. I'm gonna beat you till you like it. That sounds like Rob. Could you survive this? My 12 combo spark? But blip blip! No way! Now it's my turn. Here we go! Uh, okay! 12 swords of Peach Zucotto! Uh. Peach Zu Strong! Not bad. What's your name? Graham! <laughs> Why do they all go with weird normal names? Graham. The guy in the first one was called Henry. Graham, live straight, buddy. Look at me. I'm darkness. Live in the light, Graham. Thank you! I'm dead! Alright, one of five. <laughs> I'm next. This guy doesn't look serious. Do I not? I'm taking this pretty seriously. And why? Because I'm facing off with Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin. How's that feel? <laughs> like the greatest prey I can hunt. What a 180. What's your name? John. <laughs> Good. John McAllister. I'm a normal man. Normal guy. Die, Travis! He disappeared? Behind you. Huh? You underestimate me, Travis. A pile bucket? That's a... Is that a, like, supposed to be like a pile driver? Classy. You got some taste. No, that's not at all. You're gonna have to connect the dots in your imagination here, chat. It ends here, John. Slash. So I was the prey after all! Sorry, but... You don't even count as prey. That's not even funny! Haha! <laughs> Dead. Don't worry, the fight is super cool, yeah. McAllister from Home Alone? Yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> I pray humbly for your victory! Next up, a samurai, huh? I'm known as Kindy Hiroshi. But nothing but a name is samurai. But you're just, you've got a name. It's Hiroshi. You must be. Travis Touchdown. I was here eating a burger. Is that so? Pale round eye assassin, how absurd. But that aside, we as warriors shall battle fairly. Works for me. Okay. <laughs> Good. Let me explain what's happening. Neither one of them would drop their guard, so no one's been able to attack yet. Thanks, Gene. Hi! Hmm. Oh my god. Your blade shows no hesitation. Impressive. You're tough. Yeah! <laughs> yep! Yeah. Yeah. Zelda noises. I've failed! Kinryu Hiroshi. I could never beat you again. It's because you did it once already. And he's dead now. Thank you for that! Oh, I've died! Alright, free down, I guess? They did the thing where they scoop past each other and you're not sure who died and suddenly the other guy becomes a blood fountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely what must have happened. 
So this is what it feels like to win the match but lose the battle. Number four, chat. IMAX next. All right, let's. I got to give them a voice on the spot based on what they look like. Hmm? Huh? Oh, lordy. Okay, he's like. He's. <laughs> you hesitated, Travis. Is this the sort of man you are? What a shame. We're not. Well, we're not done yet. But I shot right through you. Are you a zombie? You shot me in the hair, dickhead. Oh, he did! Look at his hair! Oh, no! You've got guts insulting me like that. You only attack with that mouth? No one sneak attacks. Shoot me for real. You took down all of my bullets. Time to reload. What are you? The best primate assassin there is. No mercy for cowards. Fuck off. Turn into dust and float away. Feel the contradiction of the world. That will be your atonement. Oh, he was dead. No more sneak attacks. Pretty sure that's what assassins do, Travis. Shit. I'm, I'm Ray fucking Winston. Final assassin. Nothing but aces, Trav. You my last opponent. Begin any time. Now I'll put the final death ball here. If you beat me, it's yours. Okay. Mind if I do? Yeah! Ting ting! Fight! Stuff's happening! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool! Hey, Trav! What? Don't talk to me while we're fighting! This is the final climax. Battle conversation is sort of a prerequisite. Prerequisite? Schmecker is it? <laughs> You're pretty tough! A bitch, yes. I'm called the Angel of Absolute Zero- Oh, hang on. I can do better than that. I'm called the Angel of Absolute Zero! You may want to rethink that nickname, man. You're tough yourself, Trav. Too tough. It's overwhelming! Okay, now I turn it up to 11! Alright! Give me all you've got! Never mind. Why? Why did you stop? You're my friend, Kamui. I can't kill my fucking friend! Friend? I'm... Your friend? No shit! You've been my friend since we first met! Shit, Trav! <laughs> I'm gonna cry! Men don't cry. I'm gonna cry! Fine, whatever. Cry your eyes out, buddy. So that's it. Just a child at heart. Let me up all your trauma, Kamui. So from now on, you rest easy and live in the light. <laughs> this won't work. It's badly deteriorated. It won't load like this. Is there another way to load it? Yeah. You're in for a long trip, though. You don't mean the legendary death ball technician. Bingo, Kamui. I'll go anywhere. Lay it on me. The northeast edge of New England. Portland. Bingo, Kamui. <laughs> that was far. 10,200 miles per hour? Even my little accident dried up. <laughs> Gene, did you piss yourself? You went to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> More importantly, let's hurry. We have to find the death ball technician. Welcome. How many games would you like to play? Not here for games. Came to see the legendary technician. Where is he? If you aren't going to play, I have nothing to say to you. If you play, that's a different story. Are you fucking with me? 
You gonna get your jollies? We are the children. Where will Fretz get us? One game, please. Of course. Come back here once you're done. Let's talk later. Bowling, huh? That takes me back. Let's do this! In text form. <laughs> Come on, I want to go semi-pro! 250 points! You're really something. The technician is downstairs. Well, actually, he lives downstairs. I'll take you there. Getting a lot of talking cats in the last few streams, it's true. I heard from Jack. You want your ball cleaned? I heard you're the legendary death ball technician. So I came all the way from Texas. Death ball? So that's why- is this guy dogged a bounty hunter? He looks like him. So that's why you're here. I only fix balls for ex-pros of exclusive contracts. I only make balls for real bowlers. But death balls are a different story. That girl's passion surpassed even mine. You mean Juvenile? Yeah, that was her name. To think that I'll be making balls for video games, bowling's arch nemesis. The times sure are honestly cruel. Can you fix it? Don't make me laugh. I made those damn balls. Let me see. Center of gravity's off. Give me a bit of time. I'll pick up the tab. Go have a drink upstairs. It'll be ready by the time you're drunk. Okay, I'll have a free Gim Lord too. I'll have a trinity. Take back what I said about text adventures, this is great. You get the right text adventure, it could be wonderful. They wake up. It's done, and perfectly. Here it is. The Azteca light given off from the death ball. So beautiful and heavenly. It's light. This is definitely a death ball. Jav. This is where we part for real. My job is now done. I hope everything works out for you. Kamui, live in the light. The light. It's a daunting task, but I trust you, so I'll try. Take care. Goodbye, Trav. <laughs> Goodbye, best friend. <clears throat> Wonder where he's going! From the past to the future, wandering in search of light. Come on, he needs this time. Hey, buddy! Did the death ball do that just now? Dude, you created something really special. I know. Why do you think I'm hiding out down here? Well, see ya. Thanks a lot, old man. If you see her, let her know that her daddy is doing okay. I will. Like Juvenile's dad, then. We gotta hurry home! Let's go! Hey, Travis! That daddy! <laughs> yeah! What kind of... Daddy did he mean? Daddy means daddy. So, <laughs> which meaning? I guess it means she's a good daughter. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Drive carefully. Yeah, nope. Let's punch it. Texas is far. Wish we could get sent off too. Forcing system shut down. Oh. Stop! I don't make it bug out. Like, bug out for reals. Seriously, don't do it. Wait! Hold up! Turning to trailer. Uh... What happened? Did I did a break? To be continued. Is this the last time we're gonna see Anime Gene? We'll see. Death ball acquired. Yeah, I'll save. Fuck it. All right. No, he's still here. Gene's still here. 
Anime dog is still here. I think we checked all the ramen. Yeah, no, we definitely did. I remember doing the Jiro Star one. Don't think we had got any new faxes. Definitely don't think we got any faxes from G. That would be weird. So, let's have a look and see if uh, the archives have anything. Ooh! Hello. Well, this is technically new. So, I guess once you get in here, then it brings it back up again so that you can have a look and get the, the cheats and stuff if you want to go back in. Get ramen delivered to your house? This is a pretty high difficult trick, but by all means, see if you can pull it off. Once you've reached the place in the photo, immediately start cooking up some chicken broth inside the pot attached to the death drive for eight hours. Only when the soup is stewed to its most delicious state, ramen, raw noodles, on onomichi, serves for people, will be delivered to your house. Enjoy the delicious combination of the chicken-based soup and the raw noodles. It's just like typing slash pizza. So, does she not like us because we killed her or made her a dog? It's probably done because of spoilers like Death Ball. Yeah, I imagine so as well. Um, CIA. I guess this is the CIA ball. That is an unrecognized command. I'm talking about in uh, old school World of Warcraft slash pizza. Where it would make a Domino's order based on a preset you had. We talked about this on um, someone's stream. I can't remember whose it was. This ball is a prototype and it's not guaranteed to function properly. Continue anyway? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be so good. Wait, what? Yeah, so, back in the day, in... I'm talking, like, classic WoW, when it first came out. Maybe, like, Burning Crusade? At the latest? You used to be able to go into the options in settings, and you could set up a pre-made order um, at Domino's, and tie, like, a payment... Um card and all that sort of stuff to it and type slash pizza in game and it would just deliver a pizza to your house. I can tell right away that this isn't the game world anymore. We're back in the real world now. But where is this? So it's CIA for the seventh mysterious death ball. Is this seriously the CIA? Inside CIA, head uh, CIA headquarters. The Bug Street boys are running around this place too. Using the Death Drive 2, or Mark 2, to connect the real world to the game world. Is that the big plan? Bring all these bugs into reality to cause the real world to bug out? Nope, that's not it. These bugs are protecting something. What lies ahead? Is that yourself, Dr. Juvenile? Whatever it is, let's find it. Is this Pac-Man? It could very well be Pac-Man, yes. No, it's Gauntlet. No, it's Gauntlet. Got to be right. I mean, I could be wrong, but this seems more like Gauntlet than it does Pac Man. We'll read that in a second, Furby. Master Mouth for Pandaren Express is a fictional food delivery service integrated into World of Warcraft announced by Blizzard on April 1st, 2005. Wait, I think I looked at the wrong thing. Yes, you looked at the wrong thing. 2005 for a start. Do 
Just look up slash pizza. Hey, doing, Simon? Welcome in. Fuck off! You cut your jollies. Does that actually give me Gauntlet vibes? Yeah, I'm I'm 100% guessing this is Gauntlet. Just like the spawners and the way the things are laid out and the pitfall traps and stuff. It was an EverQuest thing, but it was a Pandaren joke from WoW. Game's got good spin mechanics. Three thousand four hundred for level now. Yo, when did I get all my HP back? Speen is known for being very powerful. Oh, was it EverQuest? Am I getting it confused? I played a lot of MMOs back then. And it was Pizza Hut, not Domino's. <laughs> it's like, it's such a mixed, like, bag of correct information and just complete horse shit. <laughs> That's memories from a very long time ago. That's all that is. No, there used to be a command in Warcraft where you could get pizza from Domino's, and it's like it's from EverQuest, and it was to get Pizza Hut. Remember we tried to test it, it was USA. Yeah, I, I, for some reason I think it was, I still think it was Warcraft that we were trying it on. And it was a thing that was on, and we couldn't do it. I mean, I played EverQuest, but not as much as I did Warcraft. This guy's a uh, really Russell and my Jimmy's chat. Alright, we're good. Undone my my Jimmy's wrestling. <clears throat> what is real life and what is gaslighting anymore? Well, it's not not gaslighting because it's still correct information. It's just slightly wrong. Whereas you know, awfully just tells you things that are straight up lies that you didn't say and claims that you did. That's gaslighting. At best, mine is um. Mine is foggy memory. Castellating yourself of your own memories. <laughs> what do we think that does? Oh, okay, it does that. Arcade cabinet. Please insert 150 blessings medal to load. Okay. 
Also, another toilet. <laughs> we just got to a toilet. Guess I'll save again. I'll take another shit. If you need to take a shit in such quick succession, maybe you've got like a problem. Just saying. Well, I pressed the jump button again, but apparently he's having none of it. Blueberry cheese brownie! Mmm. I bet this is uh, holding up well on the bitrate. The old fuck your bitrate pattern on the screen. No, I'm not. Stop doing that one fucking move, you prick. Seems all right. Hmm. You're watching in 160p though. Um, I still heard, I've heard people saying gaslight. You still don't know what it is. Furby, the actual definition comes from some real life situation where a person was turning actual gaslights on and off, convincing someone they weren't doing it or something like that. Modern day, it's basically trying to trick someone into convincing them things that never happened, make them doubt themselves. Yeah. Bitch it. I'm not gonna lie, I have, uh, I've never had to say the word gaslighting until recently, knowing all for thee. It's a term I'd heard before, but I'd never had to use. After today, I've turned my bitrate up, so now I can watch and turn it- well, you've turned your bitrate up. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, fuck these guys. I hate these guys so much. I'm just gonna take- I'm gonna tank it. jumped we use all our budget in that shadow of the damn level what do we do guys just make the final level gauntlet I don't mind a gauntlet themed level it's fine this whole game seems to be about like celebrating various games so, Gauntlet was a pretty big thing. Pretty big deal, chat. Might not feel that way because it was so long ago and you barely ever hear about it anymore, but it certainly was at the time a big deal.
Nice. That's gonna do a ton of damage. Managed to attach it to his back. <clears throat> I don't know much about Gauntlet. It's basically a D&D kind of game, right? But actually, they get to pick the classic set of D&D characters or whatever. Gauntlet was a big inspiration for Zelda and was basically the first roguelite. A little roguelike game. Yeah. Or fucking rogue. Has anyone here played rogue, by the way? Whenever you get people who get, like, all pissy about you saying roguelike and roguelite. Have you actually gone and played the original? Because let me tell you. That sure is some shit. That game is impossible. And it's like, it might as well just be played on a notepad because it's, um, it's the entire thing is all like, uh, ASCII symbols. Yo! Okay! <laughs> Why are we in Hotline Miami now? I wanted to say yo, and then it kind of turned into okay. So I got yo, okay. Corner doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're not wrong, pastry. It had like the the classic sort of D and D archetypes in it, and it was uh, like an arcade version of D and D, I guess, in a way, with no story. That's why they call it rogue like. Yep. I don't know which is the correct term or if they're completely different terms. Well, okay, so roguelike is a game that has, like, the elements of rogue in it, which are, like, the random spawning, the random items, complete wipe of progress, um, like, all of those sort of specific elements. A roguelite is something that takes part of that game's elements and incorporates it into its own thing. Can't actually play Hotline Miami, it makes me sick. So, for example, a rogue like might have a progression system in it where you keep EXP and stuff like that. There's all sorts of different reasons for it being a like and a light. For reals, there's an arcade version of Hotline Miami? Wonder if it has new modes in it. Why is this JPEG horse? And who do we have here? You don't look familiar, you're not here like him nor them. I don't recognize your face at all. But I know you. But you don't know me. Do you remember? Look at my face. We've met before. We passed each other out, out by the convenience store, haven't we? I don't know you. Why are we here? You're no guest of mine. I remember now. I invited him. About the thing. I know about that. You're up to the task. I don't mean to force responsibility on you or anything. But you're the only one who could find him. No, I don't know anything about this thing. Nobody told me anything about him nor about you. <laughs> I regret that. There's a reason you've come here. Probably be a good idea to confirm that reason. He's disappeared. Find him and you'll find the reason you seek. There is no reason. You should leave. Security here is pretty tight. It's not going to be easy to get in, but we've got your back. I'll open up the lock ahead for you. I'll give you a clue. He has a symbol. It's a very important symbol. Collect them and you'll be- oh, and I'll open the locks and you'll be- where did I get that from? Collect them and you'll be open the locks. That'll be your reward. You can't, that's against the rules. You see that- you <laughs> see that you remember now, don't you? The symbol. This leading, I can't remember it. Find him? Who the hell is him? That's just Hotline Miami bodies, isn't it? Like JPEGged onto the floor. Yeah! 
That was worth it. Big payoff. That did so much damage, chat. We are being raided. I gotta look up and see who it is. Monkey Mist is raiding. Monkey Mist, how you doing, my dude? It feels like forever since I've seen your name around. How have you been, my dude? If, uh, if we could get a shout out for Monkey in the chat. I'll give him a sound effect in a second. I think you know which one, chat. Hey, hey, baby cakes. <laughs> hey, there he is. I'm right, tie yourself. I'm doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you very much. What are you playing today, my friend? And I'll give you a sound effect, monkey. Here you go. Go back. I want to be monkey. Oh, I need to... Uh oh. Oh, please kill. Okay, there we go. Whew. Perfect sound effect. There we go. Uh, Queen Twinkle Toes, thank you very much for the follow. Anyone who's here from uh, Monkey Mists Raid, I am Mouse from Alpha. I am a variety streamer from the UK. Uh, I play a bit of everything. At the moment, we're playing Travis Strikes Again, a normal heroes game. This is a, uh, it's a very meta game. Right now, it's kind of mimicking Gauntlet, if you've ever played the old classic Gauntlet. That should kill everything there, I think. Right, we good? I think we're good. Did he say cheese brownie? He did. Uh, wait, hang on. What's the name of that skill? I think I can level up as well. Is it this one? Blueberry cheese brownie. Playing some Subnautica Blast from the Past, seeing how well uh, the next Subnautica game will be released soon, I think. Did see that trailer for it. I didn't actually look at the trailer yet. I haven't played Subnautica because I'm a bit of a um, scaredy cat, shall we say. It's a nice way to put it. When it comes to horror game stuff, and although that's not a horror game, I played a little bit of it and I got like grabbed by one of those Reaver things or the Reaper things or whatever. And it made me shit myself, so I haven't been back to it. Underwater is scary. Just saying. Legitimately, underwater is very scary. Get closer to it. There we go. I'm so slow in that mode. But there's so much damage. I want that. I don't know why I want that. It's just money. I don't use it for anything right now. There's ramen in here. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed the ramen. Good. Those guys T-pose when they come in, I just realized, by the way. I need to hit like twice more. Okay, this should be good. Nice. That's the two big scary guys down. Um, John Edward Walkman. John Edward, number one. Number one! Pretty sure that's not how he says his name. More malicious, thank you for the sub. I will catch up with you in a moment, chat, when it's slightly less hectic than it is currently. Can't use my, my skills right now, that sucks. hate these guys so much. Okay, right, he's dead. I just want... I want to use the... I want to use this. I want to buy ramen. 
Game's like no ramen for you. I think I have to get rid of this. These spawners first, though. Oh, is that like a special one? Oh, it's a special one. I was knifing a Reaper earlier. Oh, Lord. He's had a Reaper glitching the hell out and letting Monkey stab it repeatedly. <laughs> That's wonderful. I sure do love when video games glitch out. Made it somewhat less intimidating. Yeah, I can imagine. It's worse than when it got a hold of your sea moth. Underwater is such a great setting for horror. No wonder there's so many video games set there. Soma being the pinnacle of good underwater horror. I saw Rob playing Soma, and that game okay. scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, more delicious. Ten months now, dude. Thank you very much. Baby, I'm all up in your subs, he says. And we love having you there, Morb. Now, have you played Bioshock? Because that game has a fair number of spoops. Uh, I played the original, and I did struggle with it in some places, yes. And then I played Infinite. I don't actually think I played 2. Funnily enough, I watched some of Morbalish playing 2. Alright, ramen time, everybody. What are we going to get? Summer is good. Best not knowing anything going in, though. I think I would have tried to knife it, even if it hadn't glitched. Good man. Show him who's boss. Ari Rang Ma uh, Ramen, a deep chiba masterpiece. Oriental style spicy ramen. Mm. Sounds right. Try that. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this and then pop this. And he just took two special bars off me in one go because he's an asshole, I assume. Well,. Whatever, he's gonna die quickly. Oh, he. Ah, he's the teleporting one from before. Right. Okay, he's dead. Of them. Stop spawning them! We done? No, we're done. Toilet! Oh, also, anyone who's new to this game uh, from the raid or otherwise, this is how we save in No More Heroes. Sometimes you've just got to sit down and take a massive save. And reflect. Infinite gets a lot of hate. I think it's pretty good. Bioshock Infinite is a masterpiece. Gameplay's hit and miss in that game. The story is one of the best video game stories in the last decade. Bring forth the uh, dissenters. I shall slap them roughly about the cheeks with my driving gloves. Very good. Good choice of words. Thank you. It's kind of you. Okay. I have no idea what's going on with this game, but I'm enjoying the beeps and boops. As as we all sometimes must do in a video game is just shut the old brain off and enjoy the beeps and the boops. I don't like any of this. Get rid of that quickly. Because these guys have got shields and you're supposed to break them, but I swear I hit this thing like front on like a hundred times and it doesn't care. Um, but yeah, this game is very like um, pop culture-y self-referential, I, I guess is the best way to put it. 
Um, essentially, like, each of these levels are kind of gameplay styles, more or less. So this has very much been like a gauntlet themed, the old classic gauntlet if you've played that. Um, which I guess the closest proximally is um, Diablo, right? Probably. I always make up a word, by the way. It's proximally not a word, is it? It's for simile, or there's there's all sorts of other words that are very similar. Approximation. <laughs> oh God! Please stop hitting me. I'm already I'm already sounding stupid enough. You don't need to kill me now. Oh God! He's got a hammer. Make it stop. Oh, I can't move fast in this mode. Yeah, I think I um I think I mixed approximation and for simile together. We got approximately. It's a new word. Wait, is there anything else? In there? No, okay. <clears throat> I think the people who don't like Infinite are people who didn't understand the story, yeah. Be right back sorting dinner, no worries, monkey. I think a lot of people don't like it because of the overcomplicated story, even though it really isn't if you pay attention or being set in Rapture. You're back while the coffee beans do the do. Very good. Proper welcome, friendos. I won't make that distinction personally because I know a few who know what's occurred and hate it on principle, which is fine. So I not to like something and not have to explain it, it's very true. They often say opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, but you don't like the smell of anyone else's? No way, is it farts? <laughs> I think I got that mixed up. With another saying. Oh good, there's like a, a barrage of people the other side of there just firing projectiles at me, that's great. I'm gonna f I fell in the hole to get that attack off, but it didn't hit anything. Uh, I have ADHD, so good luck getting me to pay attention. Yep. I don't have ADHD, but sometimes I struggle as well. I have to be really into the story in a game to be wanting to pay attention to it sometimes. Okay. It's like the worst enemy type in the game, probably. Not only does he do like a ton of damage, he's hard to dodge. Actually, no, the the other guy who has the the range attack as well. Look how much damage he just did. It's like nearly all of my health. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, but more malicious is, is the most important. Hmm. Another like I say. Good game makes you interested in the story. If it doesn't, it's not your kind of game. I agree. Yep. I mean, I know some people who really like certain games, but just like skip through cutscenes and stuff. I can't do that personally. If I'm into a game, it's usually like the story is part and parcel of the experience for me, right? But then I play a lot of story-based games. So. I think you've also got like not to not to label anybody because there are plenty of people who are not like this or even if they are like this only with certain games but you've got like the cod generation I would say of gamers who don't want a story they just want like to get into the meat of it What about Risk of Rain 2 well, Risk Rain 2 doesn't have a story, really. And we need another middle. Well, it does. It has lore, but it's not, like, presented to you in the game. You have to read it outside of the thing. 
<clears throat> We're back here again. Get in the meat, that's right. Are you Jacket? I see. So I guess I'm supposed to find you. He's gone. What a shy dude, just like they say. Hmm. Also, the astute amongst you, yes, this is a Hotline Miami reference. Also, if you notice when I go to the toilet here, the t-shirt my character's wearing is a Valhalla t-shirt, another fine indie game. Man, a game can be good without story. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. I'm not saying, like, a game has to have good story, but very often, very often, because a lot of games do have a narrative, I can't, like, just play the game and not enjoy the narrative, as it were. I can't just be like, skip cutscene, I want to play more shooty shooty bang bang. I need the story as well. Um, introduce the COD Generation Tetris. Zero story, 100% gameplay. God damn, I love Tetris. I, I really need to play some more Tetris Effect. In fact, I want to play that in VR at some point. Because I played it on PS4 and I played it on PC, but I have the PC version that has VR support. Gameplay can also take interest away from the game. Say a game is a really good story, but the gameplay is very repetitive. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I was hoping that might be some sort of, like, run around and get all the buttons and then you don't have to fight everything. That was not the case. I guess we're going the left route first. Please die! Uh-oh. John Edward, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I will catch up again with you eventually here, chat, once we're done taking out these these lads. Okay, I think I've got some uh, some time now. Lynchy, welcome back. Back from food. Take a juice for victory, yep. Prime example of that is Death Stranding. The gameplay is extremely repetitive, but I trudge through that for the story. I don't have VR, so I haven't experienced Tetris Effect in VR myself. I'm on the top 100 for normal difficulty. Damn, nice. I would say I'm very casual at te Tetris Effect, but I, I do enjoy it greatly. It's like the perfect blend of um, Tetris and Luminez that I didn't know I needed until it happened, and then I was very happy. I uh, need to go, so I'll drop a follow and be back to catch another stream sometime. You take care, my dude. Thank you very much for the follow and sticking around for a bit in the raid as well. Do appreciate it. Yes, maybe see you around sometime. Have a good rest of your evening. <laughs> These fucking guys need to die. I mean, I would almost argue in a kind of roundabout way, not, not as much by any stretch, that this game kind of suffers a little from that because I'm... I want to see where this story goes for sure, and the gameplay well, like, fun is is very repetitive at times. Like, these levels feel like they need to be half as long. And I guess they kind of stretched it out. But I'm not really a big fan of stretching out gameplay just to like, meet a quota, you know? I'll forgive it, though, because this game... Like, it's fun overall. You get really get stuck in the corner there. That sucks. I 
Did I get that off before the blueberry cheesecake wore off? No, I didn't, but he still died, so it's okay. Okay, we're almost done. Nice! I got the bug. Got me an extra life. So, Porpoise, welcome in. How you doing? How are you, do be? Ah! No! Nice. That'll do the job. Uh, Master Malfour, I have an idea of what I want in my MS painting me a picture. Need some thinking, but I'm close. Oh, baby. Oh! Uh oh! That's an enemy I didn't want to see. Oh, no! I attached it to the wrong fucking thing. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Speed! Okay, right. I can I can win this. I just need to not do that. I need to pop this in a place where it's not immediately gonna kill me. Okay, there we go. Ah. All right, okay, okay, we're good. Safe. Uh, problem is nothing new is happening, it's just the same enemies in different rooms. Yeah, and like, uh, I don't know, it, there's, there's a certain amount of that I can forgive, because it's like not a high budget game, it's, a, it's technically a high budget set of people who have started their own indie studio at this point. More or less, is like how I view this. Even though they are technically still grasshopper manufacturer, they haven't got the big backing of like, um, a massive publisher or anything for this. This is more of a passion project. But yeah, it does feel like it should have been over, like, maybe a level or two ago. I say it's not, it's not that egregious that it demerits the game for me necessarily, it's just... I don't know, you feel like your um, your attention span to it is, like, waning as you go. Oh, I see. We Portland! This really is Gauntlet. Don't know why this game needs padding. Who knows, maybe the publisher they, uh, they, they joined with were like, yeah, that's not long enough. If you really want uh, your fans to to buy it, so you can get another normal heroes made, then it needs to be X amount hours long or something. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing to do with the publisher. Maybe they uh, they genuinely thought this was an appropriate length for it. I am really excited for No More Heroes Two uh, Free though, chat. I don't know if you guys have seen any of the trailers, and if you haven't, don't watch them. We will be watching them on stream when we finish. But the trailers for that game are uh, are pretty wacky, and they've got me excited. Reminds me a lot of the DP2 dungeons, just endless corridors of snarf enemies, yeah. Snarf! You remember your Uber card, at least. Always. Never forget your Uber card. Oh, boy! It sure is a maze! Alright, we need to get there. So how do we get there? I don't think I can just walk in there, do I? Not only is it a maze, it's a teleportation maze.
<laughs> amazing. Nice shot, amazing. Nice shot. Okay, right, remember this, chat. Remember, bottom left is where we need to go to get to the arcade machine. At least the uncollected coins are sort of like a marker of where I have and haven't been. Nice! A reminder, chat, when I'm done with this game, like, from next week onwards, uh, if I'm done this week, that is, this might end up being longer, who knows, but from next week onwards, potentially, I'm going to be playing Sonic Adventure 1, a game that I notoriously have shit on in the past as being dog shit. This is the worst enemy in the game. You know when I was saying that other guy was the worst enemy in the game? This is the worst enemy in the game. Luckily, they die quicker than the other guy, but they uh, they do too much damage. They're too fast. They block everything. Look at that. He just did like a third of my health with one stunlock combo. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Music's all right. Nice and background again. Right. Bottom left, wasn't it? I really hope, um, one, I really hope good life is good. Two, I really hope, um, Hotel California exists and it's good. Ahoy, doing big lurk, no worries, Neil, welcome in. And see you later. It has to be, especially the 5 FPS <laughs> trailer. Hello! Greetings are important, you know, they cheer people up, but right now I'm trembling with rage. He's disappeared again, gone without a trace. I passed by you again, but your BO is intense. Couldn't forget, <laughs> couldn't forget it. Thank you very much for the nine months, so porpoise, of subscription. That's uh, very kind of you, my dude. Never expected, always appreciate. Also, 21 people in the chat. How you all doing? Oh, welcome in. There's me in a basket. Thanks, Neil. Yep, Curly Pastry saying there. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, if you want to, it'd be pretty appreciated if you did. Uh, you can also follow me on my other social links there, as as has been posted in the chat, and also on our Discord, vot.gg forward slash Discord. That's the Vikings of Twitch. That's not just me. It's Island of Rob, Roger Comer, and all for thee as well. We're a four-man streaming quadinary. Oh, pastry! I got my new my new button. I made it yesterday. Oh, my brain! That was the sound effect I wanted from Tom. You may not remember. Yeah, okay, right. We we read that. No, I don't remember. I can't take it anymore. That smell is taking over the room. I cannot abide. He's wandering around. According to the info I've just received, he's waiting for you. I don't know what he wants, but he's really sensitive to your presence. Do this right, like that one time. I was watching from the shadows. I could never forget the shock of what I saw. There will be no time next- Oh, there'll be no next time. Don't forget it. You'll end up in the bottom of the sea. This place reeks of death. These guys are desensitized to it. Bunny clown is great. <laughs> yeah, whoa, oh, my brain. Oh, my brain. That still might be one of my favourite moments that ever happened in one of our Sunday streams. They <laughs> just got fucking domed by Awfully. It was very good. Wait, how do I? How do I? How do I do? 
The game's padding is protecting us from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, if you listen carefully, you can hear awfully going, oh, fuck. Oh, my brain. <laughs> it's very good. It's a very high quality sound effect. Let me in, toilet. Travis needs to go. Apparently I'm not allowed in. Whoa. Okay, this seems to be, maybe it's changing things up a little bit. Still gonna be pretty much the same enemies as before. However, so it's not, <laughs> it's not changing it up much, is it? But still. Literally my last 10 minutes, Mrs. Morbo. Did you put bleach down the new toilet, Morbo? No, Miss Morbo. What did you do, Morbo? Maelstrom is on. Can't talk. Sorry. Don't you hide behind them. <laughs> Don't you hide behind them. Oh, God. What did I do wrong? I, like, stepped on a pad and now there's, like, 100 enemies here. Why are <laughs> there so many enemies? Mrs. Morbo, if you're there, I, d I didn't tell him that he can't put the, the thing out. Or whatever, the bleach. <laughs> I just made up a story in my head. He couldn't put the something out, the bleach out for the night. Why? <laughs> Why are there so many? Stop. This better not happen every time I fuck this up. I'll be really angry if it does. Put bleach down in your toilet. I didn't know. Wait, were you not supposed to put bleach down the toilet? Is that like bad? Does bleach not belong in the toilet? I don't know. Maybe there's like some like new toilet secret that I don't know. Not within 24 hours of being put in. Oh, I guess I've never, never had that problem that I can think of. Don't very often buy a new toilet to be fair, so I guess that makes sense, right? Right, so we have to find a route through that doesn't involve me. Look at this thing over here. Wow, we leveled up again. Holy shit. Let me just have a look at what the other one was. Generates an area within which players will recover power. Right, that's the one I've already got on. Whoops. Travis Man Formation. Choco Banana Crepe with Caramel Ice Cream. Combine with Bad Man to form Travis Man. Must use skill together with Bad Man. Well, that's useless then. I can't use it. Male does his business in a litter tray. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> no, I fucking don't. How dare you. Fuck. That wasn't what I wanted to do. 
Do I have to go back? Monkey? Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. Well, we're going to be decently leveled for the end, I suppose. Oh, you are such a bitch! No! You didn't just do that! That's not okay! I had a level 3 super ready to go and he just fucking took me down to level 1. Does this level end? I don't know if it does. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Anytime I go to a house, the toilet's already there, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Yes, just call me Toilet Duck because my business is at an angle and I'm ex exiled to the bathroom tonight. <laughs> Pretty sure Grasshopper just made a never-ending final level. Mm. Well, we've, we've done a couple of routes now, so I guess we're going to find out whether or not we were correct or, or what. Looks like we might have just miss, missed an Aztec coin, which I don't really care about. So that's okay. All right, that's like all my health back. All right, we're gonna build up level two. I tried to jump that, okay. We're not gonna build up level two. We're gonna build up level one, chat. Right, then we're gonna do blueberry cheesecake thingy move, right? And then we're gonna put that on him, and then we're gonna hit him with a special. Alright, he's not dead from that, sadly, but we did a lot of damage, so that's good. Oh, nice. <laughs> noted. I love that noted emote. That's such an adorable emote. Call the, uh, all they had to do is make Travis comment on the length of this level and all will be redeemed. Yep. More malicious, thank you very much for the hundred salty bits. You can do it! Cat is fucking head off. Head, head off. I think we're at the end of the level, by the way. More delicious, everybody, with 100 bits. A very generous man who often gives subs and bits in our in our streams. And uh, Cowardly Pastry, if you would be so kind as to give him a shout out, if you haven't followed More delicious, everybody, I believe he's like four or five followers away from his affiliate 50 followers. So if anyone here has not followed More delicious, go do it. Go click on the link, follow the lad. Oh, it's not the end of the level, don't worry. <laughs> it's just some more level. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> it's so long. Holy fuck. Please is be do if you have a bottos anything yet. 
give me more of his bits than I deserve, says Neo. I don't know how to feel about that. As a sentence. That's where I just came from. That is literally where I just came from. Okay. Let's try this one. Middle. We went middle first, chat. Remember that. That was probably a mistake. On my part! No! Oh, bad enemy! Strawberry and cheesecake! Delicious! It's not what it's called. It's blueberry cheesecake something. Oh! We picked well. We picked it very well. 48. Two to go. You know what to do, chat. If you haven't done it already. Call to action. Let's get that to a starting building level two. All right, let's go left. Hi. All right, it wasn't left. Let's do right. One to go? Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Don't care if I'm gonna take damage here. Okay, I do. I care a bit. I care a bit because I'm dying. I care a little bit because I'm fucking dying. Stop. Stop it. I don't have range. Why do you have. Why do you put range enemy? This is not Binding of Isaac! No! I'm okay. Mayo has a complete character arc in about five seconds. <laughs> he does, it's true. He does, yeah, him, him, that guy. Hey dude, good to see you again! Do you know me? Nope. But we got a new cheesecake in, I highly recommend it, bro! Actually, he looks like Neil. Chock full of tasty ricotta cheese, goes well with a cheap wine. I don't handle wine very well. Recommend a beer and I'll take it. I also don't handle wine very well, because it tastes like vinegar. We don't have beer here. I don't talk about beer. It reminds me of him. Who's him? That guy with a jacket? That's enough small talk. Time to close up shop. Get on out! I gotta meet up with the jacket. Can't you just leave him in peace? He's really exhausted, man. Not like worked overtime tired or drank too much tired or orgy tired. Nothing like that, bro. Every muscle, every bone, all the blood, and even every cell in his body is exhausted. He's completely worn down. Looking for a place to die. Right. I don't know. Try asking me if you see him. He's waiting for you just past here. What? Travis, watch your back. He'll hunt you down. Shop's closed. What's Neil doing dealing cheesecake? Good question. Holy shit, I just hit 50 followers. Ooh. Okay. Congratulations, my dude. He's just past here. What does that mean? Left route? It does mean left route. No, no, no! I hate these guys! There's like so many of them! Congratulations, Morgan. And now, you don't have to worry about affiliate targets or anything. That's that's the main benefit, honestly, of getting an affiliate 
like 50 followers and stuff is if you've got the average viewers which you should have from the last few streams you've done from what I've seen um, and if you've got the amount of days streamed which you should have and then you get the amount of followers affiliate should just activate and then you don't have to worry about it anymore and it's like a weight off it's one of those things where I remember when me and Rob and like later on Logico and Awfully and everyone you know we were like streaming our streaming our streams out to free people one of us being ourselves and uh, you had to constantly be on the guard for that fucking number to drop and you would like lose your affiliate like chance or whatever for the the period you'd have to bring it back up again and I hate that shit and I wish it wasn't a thing And I'm very happy that for a lot of people in our community here, that hasn't been a thing. It's literally been you hit 50, 50 fucking followers and it just goes. Which is great. Because I don't want anyone to ever go through the whole fucking <laughs> free, free viewer account malarkey. <clears throat> I'm a little numb at the minute, to be honest, in surprise and thankfulness. Well, more malicious. Everyone loves you here, my dude. Morbus Vod just started playing in the background. I shit my pants. Very good. Thank you and the VOT in general for making it so easy, really. Well, that's what community is all about, innit? At the end of the day. Chat, I think we might be heading towards the end here. Ah, corridor. Corridor of enemies. Do my best to avoid as much of this as I can so that I can get. I need to get my special up, so I'm going to use these guys respawning as an opportunity to do that. Here we go. Roll here. Put a bomb on that. Back out. Grab all my health. Nice. Are right, we not done? Eh, uh, fucking drill, drill guys and shield guys. Really? Oh, <laughs> took me down a level. You prick. Right, okay. Let's try kill them in like one go. <laughs> you son of a bitch, he blocked it. Didn't even shoot the bomb. I think he blocked that too. Ah. Oh. No. Oh my god. Oh, that wasn't... Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, come closer to the bomb, idiot. Nice. Don't. Don't. Guys, they're the fucking worst. It's two of these guys. Stop. Oh, 
How are we not done? Stop! Fuck off! Huh! I'm glad I got that extra life earlier. I'm probably gonna fucking need it. Right, these these guys with the like the portal horse shit going on right now, chat, by the way, they they stop me from being able to use any of my skills. And my skills are like the most valuable thing in my my entire repertoire. Regular attacks do fuck all. No, stop! Stop! Stun locking me! Stop! Stop! Sorry, it starts me back here, so it's not so bad. I just realized how many extra lives I've gotten, apparently. Which I'm quite into. That fucking move is such donkey shit. Oh, good! What is this rush? Okay, this has got to be the end of the fucking game. More malicious again, 100 bits. I believe in you. More malicious, I believe in the you that believes in me. Is that a thing? That's like a movie quote or something. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, Neil, thank you very much as well. Full 100 bits. It's gotta be the final room of how much stuff is thrown at you. Fucking hope so, right? Ooh, apparently we're, uh... Well, no pressure, chat. You don't have to give me anything. But apparently we are very close to a hype train. Why more? Why? I left your page open on another tab after I put in the follow. It started loudly playing your last video saying, Hello, hello, hello. I'm sitting here in the dark. Randomly disembodied voice appearing loud on the mail stream. I thought someone had come and bind me. Oops. Alright, what is my ramen? Katsura Dandan. Dan. Katsura area represent soy sauce and chili oil come together to just... Damn. Oh, Neil gave me another 100 bits. Neil, thank you very much. Although, I think it has to be separate people. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you, Neil. Thank you. If you were trying to trigger the hype train. It's all good. You don't have to do anything, chat. Hype trains are nice and all, but not required. Ruined my train. <laughs> Our train, not my train. <laughs> oh shit, Lynchy! Lynchy with the uh, the salty bits. Oh, there's my hype face going across the screen. Look, there he is. Choo choo, motherfucker. There is a hype train going in the chat. You have a limited. Hang on. You have a limited time. To you have a limited time to earn emotes in the chat. Or something. I can't remember what exactly you get from the hype train. Go, have fun. Yay. All the filters. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I'll tell you what, chat. The entire time that the hype train is going, I will play any sound effect you want. If you know what it is, if you just say it in the chat, I will play it. More malicious and lynchy. Thank you again for another 100 bits each. Simon, thank you for 100 bits. 
Talking flower of 100 bits. Oh my lord, I've never seen so many fucking donations at once. You guys are generous. It's very kind of you. Okay. I think we're at the end. Neil with another 100 bits. Good lordy. All right, arcade cabinet. So, this is the bottom floor. The fact that you're waiting here means shit's about to go down, doesn't it? Or do you just want my autograph? Just slipped on my dog's bone and fell, oh no! Nothing stopping this train. Well, about three minutes or so it will stop. Hope you're okay, uh, Queen Twinkle Toes. I'm out of bits, my baby's milk buddy! Morvo, no! I like how Neil goes to, oh no, is the dog okay? I go to, oh no, are you okay? Neil goes to, okay, is the dog okay? Oh yeah, they're looking for you! What are you gonna do now? I feel the bloodlust coming from you. If I make even one false move, you're totally ready to kill my ass. Looks like I've gone and stepped into the danger zone, huh? If possible, I'd rather not have to take your head off. So yeah, how about we make friends? Well, anyway, can- Well, call me sometime if you feel like it. You don't really smell like a gamer to me, but let's play something super fucked up. Let's just go back to that world of blood. Fighting that endless battle. Once we grow tired of it, let's have a beer. Let's drink until we got no more fucks to give, until we lose all hope. And if you still feel like dying, let's meet again. Oh, really? Awesome! It's a deal. <laughs> a, com a conversation is happening, apparently. Spin, 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 spin. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, we are- we are done, chat. That level is finally over. Goodness. <laughs> Dr. Juvenile. Let me at last. Got a whole bunch of feedback about the Death Drive Mark II. Got some pretty harsh stuff to say about each individual game, too. First, just let me say this. You're a genius! A true creator. I feel like I do kind of understand your disappointment. I can sense a lot of regret and anger at having put all that hard work into that console and those games. I didn't have them never released. I want to play more of your games, Juvenile. Come back to the real world with me. You need to shit yourself away in a digital world like this. Release the data and let it out. Turn to your body. Beep, 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 beep. You're starting the battle program? Whatever, you don't get a lot of opportunities for a true last boss fight after all. Make this fun, Doc. Dog wasn't close enough to get hurt. <laughs> Good. Good to hear. Should have asked him if you're okay too. No. Neil, that just shows your your love of dogs, that's all. Your your priorities are where they are and never change. Okay, right. Understood. Oh my lord. Morbalicious is gifted a sub! Oh, look at that train! Oh, it got so close right before the time. You almost did it, chat. Uh, Ursula Lead Leadwald Art. Congratulations on your sub, Morbalicious. Thank you very much for the gift. <laughs> Genuinely, though, chat with the, um... With the subs and all that sort of stuff. Don't ever feel like you have to give us anything. I also know that my channel is the one that doesn't have, um, like, alerts and stuff, and they, they tend to be very much less popular for hub, like, hype train type stuff, so I'm not really worried about those generally. But it's, uh, it's nice to see them occasionally. Oh, 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Neo has redeemed a clown horn. I mean, I'm a little busy, but... Oh, you want a sat? Oh, God, hang on. That's another... That's a different desk. There you go. Please stop. Okay, so I get them to explode and then then I'm like safe to go in for attacks, more or less. But if they explode on me, it's a bad time. This thing is definitely gonna have another form. Oh, it's got another health bar, that's what it is. I, I think I... Okay, I didn't dodge it the second time. I guess I think I dodged it. Ah! My health bar thing, like my heal is so close to coming back up again. Yo, this music though, it's about to it's about to become a banger. Right, we got a decent amount of health back there. Ah oh, shit. Good. Ah oh, fuck. Okay, right, we're going for it. Here we go. Oh, shit. That, okay, that's damage. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't I wasn't sure. That was either damage or 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 safety. I'll take a death on the final boss, I don't fucking care. It would be a miracle if I did oh good, I thought I was Oh there's there's floor AoE. I got fucking stunlocked by that for so long. Where did that go? Excuse me? Jump, 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 jump. Is this bad as well? Is this bad? Oh, we're almost certainly going to take another death here, chat. Okay. No! No, my health circle! It's not fair! It's not fair! <laughs> oh, fuck. The, um, the, like... Oh, what do you recall? The, the perspective of these, like, things on the floor is really difficult. Hit it! I wanted to charge my thing, you asshole. Let me charge my thing. But that looked like it was on top of me. Are you fucking kidding me? It's 
level is cool as heck, though, yeah. I... Very glad I picked up all those extra lives during the previous segment. Because now I don't really have to care about what he's doing anymore. I can just finish the game now. Which is good, because that's going to kill him now, so... Pretty hard fight. Oh, there's almost certainly probably another phase. Dr. Juvenile, why the fuck do I have to kill you? Why do you have to try to kill me? I just don't get it. Maybe the Death Drive Mark II's anti-intruder program is loading up or something. I don't know. But it just doesn't feel right. When I cut you down, it felt like cutting through a cloud. All this emotion flooded through me. There was nothing but sadness. I've been burning sadness like fuel just to keep living. I know that now. I don't need a big old speech, but these are your last words. Leave me something special. Farewell, poet. In the human world... Oh, hang on, I should do like a thing for this, right? Double effects again. In the human world, the time for games... There you go. Perfect. Isn't that your fish voice? Yeah, but you know. What else am I going to do? D. C. I'll take it. Oh, my Pepis is gone. Dendrobium chip. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sucks energy from nearby characters and converts it into attack energy. Hold button to suck energy, then release the fire. I'll try it. the hell is this? Guess I'm just supposed to press this button, huh? Well, this is the climax. You know something's gonna go down. It's the way it always is. No turning back for us now. Done a pretty good job keeping the players happy too. Okay, Juvenile, let's see this ending you want to show the players. Give it to me with feeling. Let's do this shit. Oh. <laughs> this is like that Kingdoms game, or Super Sword Brothers or something, like, style. Did, did I just teleport? Where am I? You're late, Travis. I've been waiting, have a seat. Are you John Winter? <laughs> McPixel! Yeah, it does look like McPixel, doesn't it? Interesting. Okay. There's a lot of references in this chat to, like, to random shit. But, um, John Winter, I believe. Unless I'm unless I'm mistaking this, is uh our our reference into um fucking uh, what's it called? I can't think the name of it. What I left for five seconds? Yeah, we're we're here now. I believe this is our this is a reference back to 
a character who was just briefly like mentioned in in like a a random fucking scene in No More Heroes One. By the way, he's like some comic book nerd or something that Travis was friends with or something. I can't remember. Anyway, yes, you know of me. Oh, there you go. Okay. He's like a okay. He must be a fictional game developer then. I remember there was something to do with Comic Con. I got your autograph when I was a kid. You came to Comic Con, right? Yeah, Comic Con, 1989. So that boy was you, huh? He's wearing a Death Drive T-shirt. I remember you. That was a specially made promotional T-shirt. Must have been a real bitch to get. Got off an old man at an arcade. Traded it for my Fukasaku T-shirt. Got good taste. He made it all his way. Nice job getting here, Travis. So is this Mars? Yeah, pretty nice view, right? Been to the moon too, but stirring space gets really boring really quickly. He says weather here. Things change a little day to day. So what do you even do here? I don't do anything. Every day I drink three cups of coffee and at night I have a beer. What about food? It's in the human body, so I don't actually need to eat or drink. Even so, human desire is a hell of a drug. Joy of eating is pretty much the center of my life here. There's a valley up ahead. I hunt these huge creatures there. It's all pretty thrilling. Catch one I can eat for a month. Got some smoked re uh, meat right here. Want to try some? Nah, I'm cool. So life on Mars. You really seem to be enjoying it. It's very quiet. It's quite fascinating. So I'm against the government's plans to emigrate here. That'll mean the end of my quiet, peaceful life. They build convenient, comfortable cities to live in. It would basically be the same as living back on Earth. Screw that noise. So that's why you came here alone, huh? Like a sort of guard, protecting this place. And it's not quite that grandiose, but I simply get rid of intruders. I'm an intruder myself. Well, that depends on your answer, young Travis. For you, I'd welcome you here with open arms. So why don't you rid yourself of all the fate and destiny bullshit and come and live beautiful life here? Wouldn't be so bad now, would it? Sounds lovely. If I close my eyes, I can picture a different life, like a perfect ideal life. So sparkly and shiny, I get all dizzy and shit. I see. That's so like you. Sorry. But I can't just rid myself of that baggage, like I said. I'll be carrying this shit with me till I die. So I died a long time ago. How about a drink before you go? What's this? Specially made Martian mist coffee. It's a weird machine. It's all in the pipes. I don't think this is coffee chat. That's good. Damn fine cup of coffee. <laughs> it's about time to go. There's only one way to leave. Die. Die? Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, young Travis. Never come back here again. Don't go off into dangerous places. Didn't you get told that as a kid? So you got like anime eyes with like blushing face? Or am I, am I looking at this wrong? Sarah is off limits. Sorry, but you're not allowed here. Dangerous and off limits, huh? That's why good little boys have to leave. You too, right, young John? See you again sometime. Bring peanut butter. Come empty-handed and I'll kill you again. Martian Miss Coffee sounds like a polite way of farting in a crowded lift and getting off the next floor. <laughs> sure looks like that, huh? Yep. Well, that was the end of that. Um, it's not the end of the stream or the end of the game, however, because there is uh, two DLCs. Both are fairly short. One of them is more or less a text adventure. The other one is... Um, the conclusion of um, that level that wasn't finished. What about Bad Dog and the plot? Don't worry, like I said, two DLCs. They cover that. It's real fake, like... 
Du, 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 du. <laughs> Fucking real fake Superman, yeah. Super Min, I like that. Super Min. Alright, well normally during credits I would give my uh, opinions on a game and what I thought about it, but we're not done. So I can't give my full thoughts. So what I will say though, and I think many of you already know, is I feel like they padded it out slightly. This game probably could have been half as long. And it would have hit harder. Like it would have been funnier. Because the bits where it shines are really good. Like it's really funny. Uh, good, good sense of humor. Good reverence to like um, classic video games and some AIs. Uh, not AI. Indie stuff as well. But then, then they made the unfortunate decision to pad the gameplay out with like really long levels. Which, uh, it does detract from it a little bit, for sure. Although it's still fun. No More Heroes 3, though, should be and from everything I've seen, is a return to, like, the general No More Heroes gameplay loop or whatever. This is, like, a game that they released to see if um, there was, like, interest for another game in the series and to fill in some gaps in the story leading up to it and stuff. Um, so sorry, got to head to bed. Have a great night, sir. Love you all. More blishes. You take care. Congratulations again on your uh, your 50 followers, my dude. A Suda 51 game. Travis strikes again. No more heroes. Oh, oh my fuck. brain. Gene? <laughs> oh, damn it. <clears throat> so, how was it? Tell me about your trip to Mars. More importantly, what? No souvenirs? There's gotta be some kind of Mars specialty stuff, right? Martian cat food would've been nice. Well, I got this. So you did bring me something then? Oh wait, well I got this. So you did bring me something then? Well hurry, hurry the hell up and feed me. Can't promise it won't be nasty. Oh. This shit is delicious! The spiciness is perfect. It's hard enough to burn right through my gut. All right, Gene. New t-shirt, new article on the ramen blog, take a shit. Phew. It's Shinobu. It who said talking flower. I don't know if you've seen my No More Heroes stuff, but this is a fairly important character in the story. She's uh, very quick to tell you you've got no moe, which is probably true. No moe! <laughs> Fucking every time. No, I didn't mean to go into the thing! Damn it. Look, there you see this? We ain't done yet. Alright, check those. Let's have a look at the ramen blog. Got no moe, but have you got your jollies? That's the real question, isn't it? Alright, I think we checked Jiro. We did. This one's new. Okay, char sweet pork almost covering the Oh. First of all, it's Arirang Ramen. Chasui pork, almost covering the soup and a spicy aroma tickling the sinuses, floating in jet black space. The soup. The circular pork slices represent a state of zen. No beginning and no end. While well, the flowing soup washes away the bad karma of the day, unfortunately the reserves are apparently empty of rocket fuel known as beer. Even so, I give this ramen worthy of devil himself a fitting 666 points. Got your shorts, I'm a dish -ta. Okay. Katsura Dandan. 
Despite the name, this ramen is not what you would call Dan Dan. One taste and you'll see the difference. The base combination of soy sauce and chili oil really stirs my Japanese blood into a froth. Semi-thin noodles intertwine and mix perfectly with the soup. The oily tag team of soy sauce and chili ganging up on my throat. Now to soothe my tingling throat, a beer would have been nice. But no, see? Ah, I've gone and gotten all sarcastic. I give it 888 points. Got you so some addition. Very good. Wait, he gave it 888 points? No, oh, that likes are different. Right. <clears throat> How you doing, bad dog? Still angry. All right, Shinobu, what are you doing here? <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding out. Oh, okay. I've been looking for you. A man needs his hideout, you know? It looks like you've cleared the latest game. Next up, the assassins await. Master? I was just thinking some bloodshed would be nice right about now. Bring your A-game, or I'll kill you myself. Shinobu, <laughs> you're a funny broad. If you think you're up to it, then bring it on. <laughs> what the hell? Shut up, you fucking mutt! Did you just call Charlotte a fucking mutt? You just signed your own death warrant. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I can't sleep. Was that Gene? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Whose voice was that? No! Wait, what? <laughs> there's only there's only me, Shinobu, Badman, the dog, bad girl, and Gene. At the campfire, so that only could have been Gene if there was another voice, unless some random fucker turned up. Just go to big regard her black tears Oh wait, uh dear DMCA maybe who knows? Gene can talk? Yeah, no, well, I mean yes, in those just all of those um All of those thingy scenes. And then, obviously, right at the very end there, we had a conversation with Gene about going to Mars. So, yeah, I guess Gene can talk. I will say this is the first game out of the No More Heroes games where Gene has talked. To my knowledge. I haven't seen it anywhere else in the games. Unless I miss some sort of secret, super secret shit. So we got credits too. Chat. <laughs> she was sending uh, faxes and had a text box at the end. Yeah, I mean, um, that's what I mean. We had that conversation with her right at the end. <laughs> but who was Jean? But who was phone? A lot of these, um... Oh, I swear he's in there, look! There he is! White qu uh, white owls! Yeah, my boy! Get in those credits, sweary. Get in there. I fucking love that sweary and Suda are friends now. This is gonna be a lot of copyrights from video games that appeared on the t-shirts here. I like how I've got to go through multiple credits before I even get the DLC. Like, you couldn't make it feel more final that it's finished than hitting me with two credits in a row. But it's not finished. Oh, this is a nice version of the... Uh theme song whistle whistle version
Yeah, it really feels like I should be going in chat. That's the end of the stream. Thanks, everybody, for coming along and sticking around for the raid. But we're not, because there's two DLCs to do. Oh, Kate, we're in Unity World, are we? Uh, yo, chat, this is, a. Uh... This is, like, regular... What? Hey, hey, quit fucking around! This isn't a game, you know. Get the hell out! Seriously, what the hell, man? Huh? Where is this? Open up your eyeballs, dude. We're in development. For what game? Like I'm gonna tell you that. A reminder as well, chat, this was before they announced No More Heroes 3. Boy. So for fans of the series, that was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> New playable characters have been unlocked. You can choose your character on the character selection screen. New skill chips acquired. New t-shirt. Spicy difficulty. Game, uh, new game plus. New scenario has been added to Travis Strikes Back. Head to your motorcycle and save. Is Gene a playable character? Ooh. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Is this that new MMO? Do you reckon it's, um... It's Bunkies. No, I believe you'll find the new playable characters. Uh... Shinobu for one, and then the other one will eventually unlock, will probably be Bad Girl. I would imagine. Ah, oh, no, 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 we don't, nope. 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 I've got to- <laughs> Gotta do this again. <laughs> Why does his head snap like that? Why is she- why is she credits, right? Agreed. Why is she credits? Moe. Moe. Please. Do you want to save? No, I'm good. I don't think that was worthy of saving. Where did she go? No, okay, I'm not talking to you anymore, Shadobo. I'm sorry. Oh, Jean's on the- Jean's on the air uh, the computer store. That's that's adorable. Right, okay. Motorcycle. <clears throat> A new scenario chat. Stream away you play credits two time. Please. So I guess I just hit continue and it'll go to the next one. I'm expecting this to say seven. Yep. On the eve of war. Now, from what I understand, chat, one of these DLCs is about Badman. And it's like all text adventure. And the other one is not. <clears throat> Master, please wake up. Huh? We're surrounded. Assassins, huh? I'll take them out real quick. They're not exactly that sort of bunch. See for yourself. Travis, don't go! <laughs> Looks like I got no choice. Keep the fort, Gene. Shinobu, I'm counting on you! I'll protect my master. Fuck off. I'm not so out of any protection, okay? Oh, it's Henry. So this is where you've been hiding out, little brother. You look simply pathetic. Henry. I don't see you for a while, and all of a sudden, you're sporting a new pers uh, personality, huh? They say summer vacation helps kids grow up. It's basically something like that. Hilarious. So you brought some goons. And you're here to kill me, huh? See you like this. I'm not even sure if I can anymore. Don't you worry about me. If you got no business here, then you could fuck right off. So desperate to escape from reality, you go run off into the game world. Such a shame. What are you doing here? What's the matter to you? 
That depends on your answer. Henry thought he'd give you a little jump start. Henry? Sounds like someone had a shitty summer vacation. Are you high or something? I saw this movie. This super yacht guy with a hammer calling himself a god, battled his enemies. The kind of thing you hear about in ancient myths. This god, he had a little brother, who was a real dick. He's got a real knack for causing trouble. The big brother and little brother end up facing off. And they realize, oh hey, the real enemy was actually a family member this whole time. That's what I remember that I, too, had a bad little brother. Thought it as a big brother, I should come and straighten your ass out. So I changed my hairstyle. <laughs> oh lord, I thought Gene was the assassin for a second. William? No, so Henry... This is... He has a voice actor and it's Irish. So I'm doing a terrible Irish accent for him. No, just your goddamn hairstyle. These guys are the elite members of my uh, my Order of Emerald Knight. Oh, here he is. They all look the same, mate. They're pretty formidable. So, what are you gonna do? You wanna try your hand with these guys? Shinobi, you a part of this? I'm sorry, master. I was careless. We took the liberty of following that chick. Creepy asshole. Henry will be taking his leave now. See you again sometime. Oh, I mean, you know, if you're still alive. Wait! So these guys are souvenir for me? Feral animals should be sent back out into the wild. You can't beat us. The X marks larf. What? The X mark larfs. 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 This mark. <laughs> larfs. I mean, how else do you say it in Irish? In Irish. That guy got real dark, huh? It's not darkness. It's fucking savagery. Hey, master. What do we do with these guys? I don't want them fucking things up here. Let's go somewhere else. In that case, let's go to my dojo. This way, you two. Mm. Mm. Kez and Rumors. Gonna lurk again because Dozy. It's foggy. No worries, mate. So you live here? Skid Row. Skiddo and filthy and stinks, right? But this is a place where people can simply be themselves. Let's see. So this place kind of drew you in, huh? I've opened up my dojo to the kids in this town. I not only help them learn martial arts, I also teach them Bushido. Maintaining good spirit, technique, and physically condi- Oh, physical condition. Not physically conditioning them. Mentality takes- Well, makes the person. Fuck me. In order to help these kids on the right path, I do what I can to protect the dojo. You've really grown up, Shinobu. Master. I believe that one day, you will come back to this side of the world. Until then, I plan to continue maintaining the dojo. Let me ask you something. You still working as an assassin? There are too many terrible people in this world. So the money you make from killing them? Trickles down to the kids in this town. And if those kids are happy, then that's cool. If they find out just how dirty that money is, well, you know what would happen. Anyway, I don't mean to preach or anything. But listen, don't you ever let those kids see what kind of shit you're getting up to. Got it? I won't. Not even a glimpse. Good. Keep it that way. A reminder, everybody, that Travis used to be an uh, assassin. He gave that up. He gave that up at the end of one, and he came back. He gave that up at the end of two. Presumably three, he's going to come back. Who knows? <clears throat> We're here! This is a dojo. Not bad. These are some well-behaved kids, huh? Yeah, they're all really good kids. I pray that they use the power they've obtained here for good. Power corrupts. You gotta watch out for it or it'll crush you. Keep things simple. As long as the kids have a safe place to play, it's good enough. Master. <laughs> Sensei! Osu! <laughs> yeah, I just said Os. I finished my kumite! Alright everyone, go around! Say <laughs> that's That's bow. Us! That's yes. Today <laughs> you guys except it's 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 Shinobu, so she would say Osu, surely. 
because she's always been shit at being a weeb. Today you guys really osu'd it. <laughs> Let's get our osu on again tomorrow, for fuck's sake. Osu! Sensei! Is this guy osu? Yeah, he's pretty osu. Wow, that's so osu! <laughs> fuck's sake, Shinobu, for fuck's sake. Hey, what the hell is this osu thing? Master, don't worry. Master, don't worry about it. Osu. Osu. Hey, soldier. How much longer are you gonna make me wait? You said he's the younger brother, so I'm being patient, but still. We'll wait until the kids take off. Yeah, once the kids leave, you go ahead and do your thing. Osu! <laughs> Shut up, children, please. See you tomorrow, Osu. You ready? Master, if it's just these two, I'll take them myself. What an insolent little bitch. So you want me to take these other assholes then? Yes, please. Done. What are you talking about? Who the fuck is this guy? God damn, I'm tired! The fuck you talking about? We barely done shit yet and you're already whining like a bitch! For real though, I'm hella beat! The prince really rides our nuts sometimes, man! You talking shit about the prince now? You really are a fucking lowlife, you know that? Get your shit together, dude! Oh, fuck you then! Why the fuck you gotta be a dick about it like that? How about I jack your broke ass planet the fuck up, huh? You think you could handle this? Go ahead and come at me then! I'll straight up erase your ass from existence! Wipe you right out of people's memories and shit! If you're cool with this, then just give me a reason! Dude, sorry, my bad. So do me a favor and like, don't actually do any of that shit, okay? It's more like it. Focus on the shit we gotta do right now! Thanks, I really appreciate you, like, not destroying me and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, chat, sometimes... Sometimes the text just... It just comes in at a point, and, and the first line reads in such a way that I, I need to immediately make a snap decision on what they sound like. And that just seemed right, and I think it played okay. I'm glad we reached an agreement. What the fuck was that? So, okay, this is where this is where now with the DLC we're getting into the point of um, people know that No More Heroes Free is happening. This is now starting to build the story up to start No More Heroes Free. So it's going to be introducing some some old characters and some new characters here in a way that. It didn't before. Had a sip of my water. Who the hell are you? We're aliens, da doy! <laughs> Fucking asshole. You got a problem with that? And what are a couple of aliens doing here? The fuck should we know? We just got like sent here or something. No oh, man, he's got it all wrong. We were trying to, like, take over this planet. So we brought this app that, like, wipes out shit that would get in the way. And when we used the search function, it, like, brought us here. Take over the planet, huh? Yeah, no, that's, that's not gonna work. What the fuck, man? We're just shooting our shit down out of the blue like that. <laughs> as long as this country is home to Travis Touchdown, you're not taking over jack shit. How the fuck you gonna stop us, huh? Well, by fighting to the death, basically. Nice! <laughs> the two of us were gangster as fuck! How do you know the West Milky Way hardcore whole brothers? Fucking amateur! Oh, I'm not too worried. I'm quite the demon myself when it comes down to it. Hey, you otherworldly dudes, don't go fucking up our battleground. Get in our way, it will crush you into, uh, into stardust. Hey now, little minions, don't go getting all up in our shit. Huh? I feel a strong presence. 
It's coming! know what voice to attach to that. It's a robot. I'm just going to do this. Travis Touchdown, we've been looking for you. Who the hell are you? Have you forgotten? We're the Death and Drive. Oh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, you're those friendly dudes who fill me in on stuff when the stage starts. So this is your final fuse form, huh? Prepare yourself, Travis. Fuck is it? Who the hell? Who the fuck is this now? Are you a villain? Huh? Who the hell are you guys? I'd like to ask you the same thing. <laughs> this is all the same voice. You fucked up everything. <laughs> I'm the world champion. I also do some superhero work on the side. I was called here by the villain auto search system. My championship belt reacted to it. Apparently, there's someone here who needs to be taken down. Okay, anyway, everyone line up and shut up! Wow, that's some hardcore bloodlust I sense. Great, more assholes. The hell is up with this place, anyway? This isn't a fucking Battle Royale game. We got too many characters here. Master, I think you're attracting them somehow. Makes sense if you think of it that way. So what, become some sort of special point now? Or maybe it's some kind of foreshadowing for the next game in the series? <laughs> Wait, next game? Never mind, just thinking out loud. We finally built up enough points. Now we're gonna deal with all of you at once. So you finally shed your skin, huh? We're gonna deal with this whole world. You dick should have stayed back inside the Death Drive Mark II. Why do you have to break out into the real world and start shit like this? I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but still. It's kind of touching that you came all this way, just for me. You guys stay out of this. Looks like this is my fight. Okay, let's get to see what you got. <laughs> right on, what? You do you, man! In that case, we're gonna bounce! See ya! <laughs> Master! What was his- he was kinda like- he was turning into Macho Man, this guy. Don't worry, even if you lose, I'll finish things up! You shut the fuck up! Okay then, Ghost of Death Drive or whatever. Anytime you're ready, bring it on! Final form! Oh, he's huge. It's massive. Juvenile is crying right about now. Now you're gonna see why the final boss! Listen, I got a little proposal. There are a bunch of kids living here. I don't think this is the best place for this. Yeah, it's gonna get pretty dangerous. We should probably take this somewhere else. Wanna go to the rock quarry? Yeah, let's go get our yayas out there. Hey, hey, <laughs> Deirdre! You live in a video game, right? Let's face off in a video game. Yeah, you're right. What game? We're good at pretty much anything. Let's see... Oh yeah, Fire Pro! The... The legendary pro wrestling game?! <laughs> what?! Okay! We're gonna... Oh, yep! Why not? Actual wrestling game. <laughs> That's an actual approximation of it as well, that's great! Did we win or lose? Oh, morally gay. <laughs> gray, Deirdre. It was morally gay then. That's a thing. Those legendary suplexes, that SCF. You utterly destroyed us. Oh, shit. Those legendary suplexes, that SCF, you utterly destroyed us. I've been playing Fire Pro for 25 years. There's no way I'm going to lose. Fire Pro is a masterpiece. Please let us train and come back again for a rematch. Yeah, that's cool, but what are you going to do now? 
We're going to travel. Where, where to? Oh, I burped in the middle of that chat. I'm so sorry. Like, Kyoto, maybe. Yeah, Kyoto's nice and all. But get your ass back into the death train. <laughs> we have nowhere to go back to. No place for us to return. The bugs are waiting for you. They're waiting for you to come back. So you can <laughs> wait the next challenger, right? Those guys. So we do have some place to return to after all. Yeah, so hurry up and get back. And don't forget the most important thing of all. Game guidance for the world of the final death ball. You're gonna go look for the final death ball? Yeah, otherwise this journey will never end. Travis, here's a little hint for you. In the Garden of Madness, your purple beloved one waits. In the Garden of Madness, that's a... That is a Sylvia quote, if ever I heard one. If you remember Sylvia from No More Heroes 2 chat, also, obviously No More Heroes 1, only when we watched it. She would always say, in the Garden of Madness. I don't know who my purple beloved one is, though. Okay, I see. Where did you hear about that? Some VTuber girl. <laughs> Email <laughs> and chat. Welcome in, Ping. How you doing? Hope you are all well. Hope you're well as too, my dude. <clears throat> no way! Apparently there's some VTuber girl. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the- Why are you- Were you- What? Different gene? Or same gene? Are you- <laughs> Are you becoming an anime girl now? You're not just a cat. I'm so confused. I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this line. I don't want to say this line. In the voice I'm going to have to do for this character, I don't want to say this line. I was feeling better earlier compared to now. Physically, I feel off. Oh, that's that's a shame. Maybe take some... Take some medication, some paracetamol or something, and... And have a, have a chill. Become hock some or Take the day off. <clears throat> Alright, uh, again, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to do it. <sighs> huh? Daddy? G Gene? Is that you? <clears throat> what are you doing here, Daddy? <laughs> Fucking... Came to see Mommy. Do you know where she is? Oh, did we... Oh, shit, no! Wait. He got with Sylvia at the end of two, right? Did they have a kid and call it Gene? No! Is that a thing that happened? Are we going to see Sylvia in a second? You saying daddy makes me laugh pretty hard. Fuck. God damn it. <clears throat> I think so. She's probably in the back. But hey, daddy. <laughs> pick me up. Pick me up. Right now? Right now. Pick me up. Okay, come here. Yay! <sighs> You're getting so big. Daddy, you're smelly! Smelly? What's smelly? All of you! Hey, Gene. I'm gonna go see Mummy now, so let's play the game of next time, okay? When? Tonight? Tomorrow? The next day? In a, in a month. Is that okay? Yeah! In a month then! Okay! Good girl, Gene. So you're a VTuber now, huh? <laughs> You know what? I still only have six million subscribers! If you buy me a toy, I'll get three million more! Gene, that's some dangerous stuff, you know. We'll talk about it next time. I really hope they... They... Chat, they meant... Just... Surely they meant just... Something non... Troubling. Surely. Continue on. It is Sylvia. Welcome to the Garden of Madness. Wow, oh, she got like a cowboy hat. Nice. You're looking good. Nice work finding this place. It's where we promise. Was it that kind of promise? Anyway, whatever. I'm sorry. It's my fault you've had to live on the front. It was me who put this on your... Po oh, put you on this path. 
And I was actually kind of honored that you'd become the world's most expensive bounty. I don't hate this life I have now, but it feels like I've lost my true self. In that case, you have no choice but to get back above the ground and return to the world of blood. Fuck me. Can't take the day off thanks to me having a quiz due by tonight. <clears throat> Finally uttered the D word, God damn it! Oh, Dente, welcome in. I prefer not to become the world's most expensive Snickers myself. Mm. Or do become the world's most expensive Snickers. Bounty's not a great chocolate bar. Just saying. Coconut's fine. But I never reach for a bounty, you know, if I have an option. Anyway, Ping said, Can't take the day off, thanks for me having a quiz due by tonight. I need to seek tutoring assistance with a subject I had learned today from class. Fuck my life, I get no break even when I think I may have some sort of breather. Well, to be fair, Ping, I think if you were to get in contact with people, there are concessions that can be made if you are unwell for things like deadlines and stuff, but you would have to actually get in contact with people and probably get, like, checked out and stuff. So it depends how bad you're feeling, I guess. At least from my time in university. Maybe it's different here. Who knows? <clears throat> what about you and the kids? You'd be in constant danger. That's just a fate. But the kids and I aren't weaklings, you know. Somewhere deep down in our subconscious, we can feel it. Our own fates. This is a really bad female French accent that I'm, I've, I've gone into, but that's what Sylvia was. So here we are. I'm thirsty for blood. Like a tiger's instinct suddenly awakening. My soul is boiling hot. Like boiling miso ramen. That analogy sucks. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> she's, she's gotten so big. Jean was so happy. I get to see daddy today. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Can we say it in different accents? I beg. Where's Hunter? What, they have another kid? Jesus Christ, how many kids did Travis have? Uh, and yeah, I just noticed the sensation as the past few hours really hit me when I felt uncomfortable while in class on my lower spine, and then I got up and I got cold air and was hitting my bones. Oh, that sounded nasty. Maybe, uh, maybe do get that checked out, Major Ping. Stay safe. I haven't had ramen, like proper ramen, in a while and I want it. Magic Friend says, you need to make a daddy compilation at Cowley Pastry. No, 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 we don't, no, we don't. Oh, oh my fuck. brain. Cowley Pastry, this is soundbite gold for you. Oh. He's out camping with the Boy Scouts. So he's still in the scouts, huh? That's good. All right then, I'm gonna go. <laughs> what was that? Wait, you not heard that, friend? That's my right. Okay, this is very quickly. Right, very quickly. We we have pastry very happily. Well, very happily, very happily. That's a weird thing to say. Very kindly recorded me this. Bonk. For when I needed it in chat. Then. I went through her her stream intros and kept collecting these for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the other day while she was playing Half Life, we got this. Ooh! Okay. So that's my newest uh, my newest sound effect button, other than the my brain from SWAT. <clears throat> uh, hey. Aren't you forgetting something? I've got the mindfulness appointment. I have to hurry back or I'm going to be late. You're thirsty for blood, aren't you? If you take it down the Delta Challenger, you can get that death ball. Don't hold back or you're going to get killed. What? <laughs> I'm Death Metal Jr. I've come to avenge my father. Now draw your sword. No fucking way. Chat. This death metal was the first guy you kill in the first No More Heroes game. He was the first fight. Literally the first thing you do when you start the game. So I guess this guy is now got his kid involved. 
<sighs> I'm looking at this clip, Simon. I want to drink a turkey! Very good. <clears throat> no fucking way! Stick the death ball in there! What? Travis touchdown! By the wrath of my father, I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! So that's how it's gonna be. In that case, let's get fucking crazy. Oh. Finn. <laughs> Finn. Done. Good. Finn it. Oh, fucking... Ow. <clears throat> You've collected all six death balls! Yay! Nice Zelda sprite. <laughs> I thought it was fucking the game again. Like, I thought they just swapped it out. For the regular sound effect. <laughs> I think you've gotten me with that like twice now in this playthrough. <clears throat> For anyone watching the VOD who has no idea what I'm talking about, by the way, Patreon did the attention command, which only mods can do, when you don't get to hear the sound on stream, but I get a sound in my ear hole that goes bam, 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 from Zelda. I've got a bad feeling. Something is closing in. Travis. Killer Marathon Beyond. Achievement unlocked. Oh, really? New article has been added. Death Ball acquired. A new game is playable on the Death Drive Mark II. No, that's not save yet. I'm gonna. I'm never talking to you again, Shinobu. I'm sorry, but I appreciate that you're here, but you're just gonna become credits. Killer Marathon. Proceed to hell or stop and die. Kill all the runners equals enemies. Become the champion this marathon of mass murder. Okay. Massage your shoulders with the glove controller. The glove controller is one of the Death Drive's most outstanding features. It's so well made that once you get used to it, it's almost impossible to play with anything else. This controller isn't just for video games. First, make your way to the place in the photo. Next, gently place the controller on your shoulder. Then, it'll vibrate. Massaging your shoulders. Quite a handy little treat for a game that gets you so active. Video games just keep on evolving. Hmm. I got stuck on bad dog. <clears throat> Alright chat, I believe this is the final stage that's in this game. It's not the final bit of content in this game. There is apparently some more, um, whatchamacallit, visual novel style text to go through, which is bad man stuff. However, this is the final game. So Killer Marathon has been finished because we have this version of Killer Marathon, which was unfinished, and then we have this version of Killer Marathon, which is actually finished. We're not going to play Shinobu because she is not leveled. That would just be a, a death sentence for me. As much as I would like to see what her moveset is like and stuff. That would be something I can enjoy if I ever want to play this game again in the future on my own. Silver face. It's a good name. Oh yeah, silver face. This is like Daft Punk. I'm into this.
Bonk. Bonk. And now it's suddenly rap. Here comes Silverface. I guess. Show, phone show. <laughs> All right, there's your boy Silver Face. A reminder, by the way, chat, very quickly, um, if you've enjoyed any of the, um, the visual novel portions of this game, with lots of, uh, lots of reading and laughing at the dialogue, that's pretty much gonna be Saturday. Uh, we're playing, um, AI Dungeon 2 on Saturday, so. Now that D4 is done forever and we'll never see it again, ever again. It's the real Killer Marathon! This is gonna be hella fun! Welcome to the world of Killer Marathon. 42,195 kilometers of straight up murder. Now run, fight, kill, dance the insane waltz of slaughter. Start here at o Odaiba and head for the goal at Akasa Studio. There awaits the undefeated champion Silverface. Hey Challenger, buck up, this additional stage is long. We did you a favor and cranked up the difficulty to max two. That means traps are everywhere and one hit deaths are a thing too. Game is these days like it's super hard. And check out the rad level design. But don't you worry your pretty little head cause sweet is stupid easy. All right then on your mark, three, two, one, go. So you've raised the bar for me, huh, bitchin'? I'm gonna turn Silverface blood red. Oh, it's long. Oh, no. Oh, but we don't have a lot of time. Wait, why am I gra grabbing coins? I don't give a shit about coins. They're not worth anything. They buy me t-shirts. I'm looking at that timer. I'm assuming the goal is like... Not a final thing. Like, I'm assuming that's not the end of the level, that's just like a, a goal for me to get to... As like a checkpoint. Stop! Stop! Stop cheating! Whoa, that is a ton of damage, like level one charge. The fuck? Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage early on. They weren't kidding when they said they fucking ratcheted up the, the difficulty a bit. Okay, it was only those two spawns though, so that's good.
kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I was right in the goal, apparently. Okay, we got we got live, so that's good. No! Why you do? I ran out of time. <laughs> oh my god, no! No! <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be horrendous. This is gonna be horrendous. So Mayo, was it a timer for a medal? No, I believe it was a timer for me to need to restart the level. Well, that was my first time. No, we don't- we don't talk again. You know that I've done that cutscene, game. You stop now. I'll be interested in seeing, like, a speedrun of this. Holy shit, that does some damage! How have you got so much health? He got hit by that full charge bomb as well. Why do you have so much health? Oh, please no, please, please no. Oh, did I get cancelled, did it? Oh my lord, we're getting raided. Zoolandertronics is raiding in. Welcome into the chat. Everybody, how you doing? And, uh, Zoolander, thank you very much for the, uh, the raid. Kind of thanks, thank you very much for the shout out for Zoolander as well. What were you playing today, my dude? And, uh, yeah, welcome in. John of War, welcome in. <clears throat> you have joined us in the DLC for this game, which is, uh, is apparently very, very difficult. <laughs> it sure is kicking my ass. Please! Oh, come on, I've got like four seconds! Ah! <laughs> God damn it! 
No more heroes is great. I've only played a bit the first one. This is a this is a very different beast. Uh, the John of War. For sure. This is a hard start to this. Holy shit. You want the All Might sound effect? I am here! Coming through the door like a hero! There you go, Rob. Welcome in. Uh, Zero to Decal is playing the Bloodstained spin off game number two. Ah, very nice. I played the um the like the classic mode type thing of that the other day. So I I don't seem to be able to get more time. It appears to literally just be like You son of a bitch game. I got squished in between. Uh, My Hero Ep 1 finally dubbed. What, the new season? Nice. Good stuff. No! Okay, I don't care about my health right now. some health, but I really don't have the time to wait. Wait, why do I care about these? Run past. Yeah, I'm very aware. Thanks to the Mario Kart speed up. Oh! <laughs> okay! Goodness. Whew. As Cranky said to me multiple times, get good. Hmm. Grandpa's words of wisdoms. If there's a side road, take it. This is a binding spell of gameplay. You may end up wasting time, but sometimes you'll find some really cool shit. Destroy every breakable object. This is the basic rule of gameplay. Don't go expecting rewards, but sometimes you can score a huge bonus. Let me tell you now, game developers, game designers, if you can find some way to point me on the path that is, like, optional shit, please do. No, no, not this guy, please. You're going to waste so much time. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, no, we're good. Ah. Ah. I need to heal, but I don't have the time. Oh my god, you have got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I'm 
I'm gonna lose a life hit. Go, go, go. Don't die, don't die, don't die before the checkpoint. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. There's a very real possibility we're not gonna we're not gonna beat this. <clears throat> I'm gubbed. I'm assuming you fed your child, and that is also gubbed. Yes. Hopefully, Rob has indeed fed his child. That feels like that. It's a fairly important duty for him to do. Oh my lordy! Bad feelings usually spot on. They come with certain omens too. Don't ignore them. Rules can sometimes be broken, but a code must be upheld always. Hmm. <laughs> you need to fuck off. These take too long to break. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, go. You fuck you! What an awkward place to get stuck. Oh, we are... We are in a... What you can only describe as a gauntlet here, I see. We're gonna have to fight this out because we're right at the checkpoint. Yo, we nailed that one. Goal! Goal? Wee! I have a feeling that's not the only level. Oh, fuck. You've reached level two. This is a time attack area with a bonus area. Hurry! Set up like a proper western, just like part three of that one super famous series of movies about time travel. Western. That reminds me of a certain game. Well, memories, huh? There's no time to reminisce. Watch out for traps. Go! Ow. That didn't build up my bar at all. I was hoping it would. Good. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't be doing that now. Let's 
as much health as I can. I mean, checkpoints, checkpoints, right? You'd, you'd hope so. I fucking hope so. They sent me all the way back after that. I ain't playing it again. <laughs> so, basically. I would say, well, that was, uh, that was cool, but the DLC ain't for me. Why am I killing this? I don't think they count, because they're just firing pinballs. And they're annoying, but they don't count against me on time, I don't think. Go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm starting to get a feel for how to play this now, and where not to waste time. Well, I'm fucked either way, says Morbo. How you doing, Morbo? Grandpa's words of wisdom, elevators are dangerous and they make your ears pop. Find the stairs. Don't resign yourself to the minority. You must know the righteousness of the majority to win this battle. Fair for what comes. Time to take a nice save dump. Oh, good lord. Okay. Take a shit, don't get hit. That's the one. And remember, folks, don't bleach your new toilet, apparently. I, I also did not know this, Morbo. I would have also gone ahead and bleached it. Just coins, who cares? <laughs> Jokes aside, I got reprimanded to fool for that. What did it do? I don't understand. Like, does it ruin the toilet? Oh! Back here? Why? Why? It's okay, we made good time. On the new toilet, I think he said it messes with, uh, I guess, the poop that hold... Oh, goop. Okay, not poop. Guess the goop that holds it in place! Essentially, the seals on the pipe screwing it fucks it up, I see. Look, I, it was toilet related. I thought I saw poop. Gonna attempt to recover my strength. I'll be lurking. No worries, Major Ping. You, you feel better soon. Never talk yourself up. If you must, do it. Only do a close few. Especially don't do it on social media. Makes you look like a dick. That's good advice. Be wary of celebrities, lest you end up gazing upon some creepy-ass selfies. Mmm. That's very relevant. Be wary of parasocial relationships, chat. You might think you know someone online because you've watched all their content and stuff, but maybe you don't. Now, I realize that sounds like I'm warning you about me. I'm not, but you know what I mean. Just in general, it's a bad idea. I got stuck. Legitimately got stuck. What? Why would you make this, like, impossible to pass? healing. I'm spending some of this time to heal.
Okay, okay, okay. No! You, you fucking whore. No, we're good, okay. Oh! I went from, like, failing at the first hurdle on this DLC to now steamrolling it. And I don't know what happened. Space Train! Space! And you've reached level three. Space! You know, that vast black place in the sky. You'll be safe within the colony, but be careful out on the emptiness of space. Be sure to walk in order to conserve oxygen. Don't rush. Enjoy space. Little known fact, you can walk in this game. Nice. Knocked me through. Ah, uh, we have the fight here. We must fight! We must kung fu fight! <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Heal me up a bit. I need a bit. Okay. Let's go. Ay 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 ay! Get everyone over here! Shit! Yeah, fuck you! Nice! <clears throat> Mouse Mouse, have you seen Kung Pao before? Or have I asked you this before? Uh, I don't think you have asked me this before, and actually, um... I'm trying to think of which one Kung Pao is. So I always get it confused with, um... Yes, I've seen Kung Pao. I always get it confused with a couple of other films. The very similar sort of martial art comedy films around that time. Kung, Kung Pao is a scene with a cow in the tongue, yes. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Probably more than ten years. Don't listen to music on your bicycle. Listen to the sounds of the town. Stop or you're going to die someday. No, fuck you, bug extra. How about I listen to whatever the fuck I want on my bicycle? How about that? You tell me not to listen to music while I'm biking. I might as well just fucking kill myself anyway, because it'll be the most boring bike ride. It's like saying, don't listen to music on the bus. Listen to the old people talking on the bus. No. Don't run in the halls or in space. Manners and oxygen are important. Stay alert or you're dead. Right, chat. So you can walk in this game. As I said. We have an oxygen meter now. Right, how much does this fill my oxygen up? Is it full? Okay, it is full. So I can probably afford to, um... Are you f***ing kidding me? But why? But why? Hey, mister.
use another we use another life which I'm not super into and I think we missed that bug that would have given me another one but I really couldn't run and chase it so free is not cheap on a lifelong scale free is what ends up costing the highest price keep your guard up what don't believe in the sixth sense search past that for the seventh sense that's where the answers lie I mean past present and future are linked okay now your now your advice is getting to be horseshit I was on board up until you told me to stop listening to music on my bike, and now everything just seems like crap. Maelstrom's got a plan! He just needs some money! Have faith, Arthur Morgan! Alright, let's go. I often wonder if there are people, you know, who are watching the VODs who are like, what? <laughs> Why did he say that? It's the chat. I'm reading the chat. Mid boss? I haven't seen you in a while, has Silverface returned? Just a passing assassin. Bad luck for a simple passerby. On that last death ball like yesterday, I'm in a hurry. Let's hurry up and do this. It's a sick child punk, you know what that makes mid boss really terrifying? Not giving a shit. Die. What loud ass sheep? We happen to be your last opponent. Alright. Oh, now you like, you galaxy, you pulling galaxies now? Is that what we're doing? I see how it is. Galaxy sheep! I pretty desperately need to not die here. Take away less damage doing that. I don't like that. I don't like that you can do that. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. No, why? <laughs> Some donkey shit. Goal. Galactic Mutton. A Maelstrom Pound! Exactly. This, that seems unfortunate. We've reached level four. Next is the sea. Time for a maritime mystery. Sea is a dangerous place. A lot of it is unexplored and it's chock full of unknown scary creatures. The bugs in the sea are super hardcore. I'm straight for your heart. Take care not to die. Okay. Six minutes. Like seals. <laughs> yes, dangerous, dangerous seals. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this shit? What is this shit? Why? Why? Why did they get to do that? It's such crap. Oh. 
シルバーフェイスを打つつもりこれ怪獣の魚つくもりのつもりの水中中これでゴリッチュー<笑>おおグレイトなおウィプレイドウェイティングゲームおぼいへいごいせいせいせいせいせいせいせいせいせい Bombs back, bombs back, bombs back. As soon as I can use it. Come on, let me use it. Come on! Game! Why is it disabled for so long? It sh really fucking shouldn't be. There we go. Holy shit! He wasn't fucking kidding when they said they ratcheted up the difficulty. At last, they're making a movie of that Gandum novel. A trilogy to boot. Long life was worth living after all. Hmm. Protect your family, even if you can't protect them. Even if- wait, even if you can't protect them. Even if it means throwing your own life in the trash, protect your family. These are my true last words. Ooh. Last words. Go! <gasps> the winner is right there! Yo, that did so much fucking damage, by the way. Alright, we're not ready for the heal yet. Gonna have to do it soon. Uh, seriously now, I have to go to bed. I'll leave you with his words of wisdom. Don't shit the bed. <laughs> More blizzards, thank you very much. You take care, my dude. Okay, we're still not ready for the heal yet. We're doing okay. We're gonna have to use it here, I reckon, though. Probably on this last one. Stop! You fucking cheating cunt. You fucking cheating assholes! Get over here. Somebody get over here and take it. Look at this, look at this shit.
that fuckhead. Oh, thank God. Stop! It's such shit. It's such shit. I hate it so much. Whoever designed this enemy needs to f fucking get punched in the face, honestly. Whoever is on the design team and made that one guy. 117. Oh, fuck. It's gonna be rough. So close to dying! Take out as much as I can before I die. I think I've got one more continue at least. Let's hope I've got more. Ugh. Don't! Don't! The health thing just came up! Don't! Couldn't go any fucking quicker anyway. <sighs> well, it's a good time to see where it restarts me. Okay, it's not. It's not that far back. Honestly, the grand scheme of things, level four. I need to do less running around and more spending my lives on doing damage though towards the end there because that's getting that's getting impossible. <laughs> They're lucky this song is good. I enjoy it. Stop, 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 stop what you do, stop. Heck, good luck, I listen and do laundry, no worries, pastry. Oh, tatted you plus or no? Tat duplos? I don't know how to say your name, but you tell me and I'll, uh, I'll correct myself. Thank you very much for the follow, welcome in. Extra life. That's huge. Bomb, come back, please. I fucking hate, I hate it so much. These guys who disable my abilities are like, I need to heal right now and I need to use it, but I can't because they've just disabled all my abilities for like six minutes, it feels like. It feels like forever. Oh, 
Alright, if I can't use my fucking abilities, how about I just get in there and get in the meat then? Fuck it. Last stretch. Okay, I have to do this very well. That's worth it. Because I can start building up that level 2 bar. Heal now on this easier one, I think. Where I can afford to sit in this for longer. That'll build up a level 3. No, back down to level 2. Because I got hit. That's okay. Alright, we've got level two. Ready to go. No, you get over there now. What is this fucking enemy's movement pattern? Just get hit. Stop being a prick. Okay, I'm gonna have to burn lives here in order to do this quickly, so... I'm going to purposely set off these bombs. Okay. Yes! Okay, nice. We have a chance. Yes! Goal! <sighs> Goal! The winner of Killer Marathon is our very own Travis Touchdown. Challenger time to go up against Silverface. Now presenting the final stage. Make my last supper cutlet curry. Or the black pork. Uh, fillet cutlet curry and put it by my pillow. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. Oh, boy. Let me tell you what, Killer Marathon. You sure as fuck didn't lie when you said you were going to step the difficulty up a notch. That was by far the hardest thing in this game. That was actually quite a lot of fun, though. It's quite varied. Right, now what the fuck is this boss going to be? I don't have many continues left, so... I sure as fuck hope it checkpoints me at the end. See the all-time ultimate undefeated champion, Silverface. I'm Travis Touchdown. I'm a passing assassin. I'm also known as the King of Gamers. I'm Windows G Enable. I'm here to kick your ass. Okay, look, don't bother with the grandstanding. I'm just not in the mood right now. You can maybe misunderstanding, but this Killer, Mar oh, Killer Marathon game is pinball, you know? 
probably picked up on this, but this game is made from the settings and illustrations of a pinball table. And realistically, it wouldn't really be possible to run a marathon while killing off a bunch of people, would it? What sort of organization would sign off on something like that? Some made-up fancy stuff. Actually, I did notice that, but you've never killed anyone before, have you? An experiment in science class, I fainted while dissecting a frog. I totally fainted in front of all the girls. That sounds like some real drama. Anyway, yeah, no killing, punching, whatever, I literally can't even. I hate exercising. I played wind instruments in a band at school, we had a shitty school life. Especially can't stand dude bro killer types like yourself. You can't escape the fight, you're gonna have to fight me. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Are you trying to rile up my instincts? True face of my instincts, what lies behind it? My settings. What the hell are settings anyway? Settings are basically proof of your existence, a mechanism that makes your ego. My ego. Instinctually enjoy murder and creating records of murder as a sport. That's Silverface. My infinite death punch is going to end you. Nice! That's what I've been waiting for. Tonight my fist is especially angry. It's real pissed about having to be relegated to the very end. You're threatening me all of a sudden, Marathon Monkey? Doesn't coming last just prove what a big deal you are? I mean, I guess so. It's kind of cool to be able to avoid the DLC on this platform and basically become the last boss, I guess. Right? If you think about it, it's pretty much mean to the main character, you know? Get the fuck out of here. When it all comes down to it, everyone's just here for bad girl anyway. <laughs> You're overthinking this shit, dude. She's an anime dog now. This is not the same. I object. I'm going on strike. I'm going to kill you. Some nice bloodlust for a guy composed of his settings and illustration. Settings make the man. The ego takes hold and the illustration becomes reality. Therefore, I'll become the final champion of reality. Nice line reading, man. I can feel the bloodlust boiling up. Let's do this. All right, here we go. I don't believe him for a second when they said he wasn't going to be hard. Yes, pull me in towards you. I love that shit. Don't pull me out of that, though. I, I need to be in that. <laughs> it's fucking like mumble rap that we've got going on now. No timer now, bitch. So I can do that forever. More, 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 more! Come on, Silverface. Are you fucking kidding me? Unload all that frustration on me. Oh, I will indeed. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't do that. I don't like that. Are you kidding me? I didn't even get to do my bomb! He just, he just negated all of my damage moves. Like, he just undone all of them. Because he fancied it, I guess. Come on, dude. That's fucked up, man. That's the only damage I was doing. So this is the final boss, more or less, because uh, I don't think there's another like game part of it. This basically is gonna now the final bit of this game will be like um, a what do you call it? Chat with bad man, I think. <laughs> so it's just like a talking bit, like a. Cutscene visual novel. Three, four, five. Okay. Do that one. Yep, good. Okay, that's good damage. That's good damage. 
bad, bad man. Yeah, the last bit of the DLC is like basically showing you what happens with bad girl and all that. Because I believe she's not supposed to stay as a dog. I mean, I haven't played the game, but from what I understand, she's, she's part of the next game, so... More, 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 more! Not enough simulation. Marathon isn't over. Real marathon starts now. If you can handle more battle, show me what a last boss can really do. Oh, good. <laughs> it's fucking rap. Nandy, 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 So, I'm cheesing it a bit here. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, at least I'm attempting to cheese it a bit. He did, like, took no damage from that, by the way. Can't help but notice that. Oh god, I'm getting healed and killed at the same time. It's great, I love it. It's my favorite. Okay, how many fucking continues have I got? Because this is- this is not okay. If this restarts me somewhere horrible- Oh my god, it's my last one. Okay, 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 okay. Full health bar. Could do some damage there. Get away. Oh god, please, why does that- It locks you up for so long. Why do you keep doing that? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. I'll be real fucking, real skirty here. I don't even care, like, how cheap it is. I got real close. You win. Perfect. 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 Wait, can I change the way those buttons work? Yeah, let me have a look. Oh, this is counting up my results. Like, can I change that one to... Yes. <laughs> that would be the answer to that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Great. I change it to play restart instead of play stop. 
I worded up a good sweat. Running with you is something else. Blood suits this marathon more than sweat. My blood flowing like this, that which has become fuzzy has become clear. Why did I become Silverface? Why was I born in a world of pinball? So what's become clear exactly? <laughs> We're updated, reformed, we evolve, synthesize, awake and combine. We run further on the path of evolution to the bright future that's sure to lie ahead. Can you trust that future? Who knows, but this world is full of things you simply can't know without trying to run the path. Yeah, you and I may be on different paths, but I'll give mine a run. Our paths may cross again somewhere. When that happens, wanna shed some more blood? Let's stick to sweat next time. I can do that. Travis touchdown, I'm gonna hurry on ahead. Next goal awaits. Goodbye, Marathon King. Oh, one of the DLCs down, chat. That's probably the harder one then, presumably, because the other one is literally a text adventure. <laughs> so I imagine it's not very difficult. Infinite Justice Chip. We got another ending. Coding complete. Coding complete. Preparing to transfer. Preparing to transfer. Alright then. Now I've got all the death balls as well. Technically I've got six real death balls. So what happens now? I actually have a pretty good idea what's gonna happen, but I'm not just gonna blurt it out. Fuck it. Bad girl is totally coming back, like definitely. How do I know this for sure? Because I read the wiki. Duh. Bad girl is absolutely coming back. All kinds of, you know, behind the scenes issues, so bad girl is, is absolutely coming back. What I'm worried about is how much is that bitch gonna remember when she does come back? Well, she has, like, no idea of just how much bullshit her dad and I went through to bring her punk ass back. Well, she restarts right after the point where I killed her. She absolutely gonna try and jump me. Shit. Shit. If that happens, I'm gonna have no choice but to get her to kill her old bastard instead. This long ass journey is almost at its end. We'll meet again someday. Until then, play hella indie games for me in the meantime. You heard him. They're not just demos, chat. Oh look! She's no longer going to be a dog! <gasps> We've summoned Shenron again! Oh, <laughs> it's cheap. It's like PNG of her spinning in the screen is very good. Back from the depths of hell is Bad Girl. That doesn't look anything like Bad Girl, really, but sure. The illustrations on those screens are weird. Oh, it's Bad Man. The hell do you want to know? How did I feel about it? You want to know what it was like to see my daughter again, huh? That's, uh... Yeah, um... I guess you could say that sometimes it's better to leave things as they are, but that's not exactly it. It's more like throwing back a shot. I thought it was vodka, but it turns out it was fucking gasoline. Anyway, every vein in my damn body clenched up, but then I realized pretty quickly that, hey, this ain't so bad. Came to accept the situation. So basically, it was the first time I'd seen her in a while, but it was also like seeing her for the first time, period. When Charlotte finally appeared in front of my eyes again, I now saw her as bad girl. And as for me, I had become bad man. Both turned into something different. There's nothing really wrong with that, you know? Kids don't grow up the way their parents expect them to. And parents don't stay the way their kids expect them to either. Happens all the time. Like, all the goddamn time. Now she has- all she has to do is live the way she wants. So we decided to live our own life separately. No I love yous, no hugs, even without all that bullshit. The fact is, we're blood. And blood is blood. Blood don't fight. That's the lesson I learned. Or, you know, something like that. Anyways, that's enough for now. 
You be sure to watch out for your blood too. Blood is a curse, but it's also a blessing. As long as the chain of blood continues. Not just demos, bullshit. Right? Not unless she is the drinking on the sofa. Scenario has been added to Bad Man Strikes Back. Head to your car. Save. Right, chat. I realize the time. Uh, I'm looking up. Roughly how long it is. I'm watching somebody on like a, a long play and I'm seeing if they're actually like they're letting the they're letting the text run out here and it's 33 minutes long. Now I could wait until next time to do this, or I could just run a bit late and do it, and I feel like more inclined to run a bit late and do it. There's bad girl. You can't even talk to her, she just fucking hangs out on your sofa now, I guess. But yeah, I know it's a late one, uh, but if I don't do this now, then I have to start my Sonic Adventure stream with like half an hour of text adventure. And I think I'd rather get it finished and done. So I'm gonna get it finished and done. With the car, you can experience Bad Man Strikes Back, the story of Bad Man's life. So this is the last DLC, well, the last part of the DLC. And this is a, a visual novel, basically detailing Bad Man's side of things and his sort of, his story. So I'm gonna go through this. I might not do as many silly voices here because I want to get through it, and, you know, it's getting fairly late. But I'm going to read it. I want to see what this story's all about. We had the silly voice fun earlier. Now we now we get the story. You ever seen the Grim Reaper before? What the fuck? Don't you even know what the Grim Reaper is? Or, well, I guess I changed that. Don't you even know the Grim Reaper? Okay, then, here's a little story for you. It was about seven, maybe eight years ago. Back when I was maybe a little bit more normal than now. It was raining and the road was slick like a seal's back. I was driving down the highway in my truck. A guy named Cole was sitting in the passenger seat. In the back with the cargo, there were two other younger guys. The cargo was this shit called White Crystal. It's close to 100% pure and the fiends all loved it. Cole was sitting there talking about food. Like, that's all he could fucking talk about. You know, recently I had this one thing that was delicious. Was stewed beef brains, and you eat the shit with some grib- gribbish sauce? What the fuck? The second you pop it in your mouth, it melts, and this rich, creamy flavor just, like, explodes. I don't want brains, no. It's got the ultimate umami aftertaste, I even feel like I maybe got smarter and shit. What the fuck? Oh, it's Birkin. You're talking about eating cow brains? Yeah, man. There's this shit called Tete de Vueau. It's not just the brains, it's the whole head stewed. The gelatinous part of the skin on the head is just the vine. What the hell would you even think to eat some cow brains? Try it, you'll understand. Try it once, you'll never forget the flavor, man. You know they got, like, monkey brains in China? Never got my hands on them myself, but I want to try that shit at least once before I die. Monkey brains is apparently... Go back, I... Work wonders for, you know, problems with your dong, too, is what he said, chat. It was just as I was heading up north on Highway 101, about to turn off some backwater dirt road. I saw a raggedy old black dog limping along the road. Check out that dog. That's an incarnation of the Grim Reaper, you know. I had no idea what the hell he was talking about. What a bad feeling. Then I was coming off a turn and I saw this big ass trailer sitting right next to the middle of the fucking road. Obviously parked there to block off traffic. Slammed on the brakes and suddenly three, maybe four cars showed up behind us. A fucking ambush? Looks like it, huh? Someone planned this! Fuck, we gotta let the guys in the back know! There are too many of them to fight off! The fuck do we do now? Mountains on the right, cliffs on the left, we can't run! Punch in reverse, that's the only way out! What, ram them? That's fucked. Let's do it. Not bad spur at the moment plan. 
Cole had a big mouth, but he was still a pro bodyguard. I grabbed the clutch, shoved the truck in reverse, and punched the gas. That's when it happened. <gasps> Did they run over the dog? I could see that old black dog in the corner of my eye. And then... Ah, oh, shit. Seems like some bad shit went down. I remember Cole aiming his python and shooting me right in the left fucking ear. To be exact, he was aiming for the guy behind me and missed and hit me instead. It sounded like church bells rang inside my head and I thought I was gone death. The warm blood started flowing down my face and now I can't see shit either. I knew the guy behind me... Well, I knew that the guy behind me had done Cole. Cole had been chewing my ear off about eating brains or lunch or whatever. Now there he was, with his own brains blown out all over the place. Oh boy. For all I know, them monkey brains were the last thing to go through his brains before he, a bullet did. So when I lost consciousness. Of course, I should have been killed too, but I wasn't. I was unconscious and covered in blood, so they probably assumed my ass was dead. So I figured that's why the Grim Reaper only took coal with him into the next world. Which was, you know, a huge fucking mistake. There you go, chat. So there are, I think... To give you an idea of how long this is going to take, obviously I don't know how long each chapter is, like, if they're all the same length or whatever, but there are six of these. So that was one. The calamities continued. The cargo we were hauling ripped off. My boss, Cal Castagloni, was fucking pissed. Didn't even want to know what kind of messed up shit the old man might have done back in the day. But I knew he was the type to dish out discipline. For years, it led the organization busting skulls and raking cash all along the Pacific Northwest. It was a real old school, real stubborn. Even worse is a guy sent out, Mosca. His connection has got him spot in the organization, but he was just a young punk who's thick as pig shit. Probably got told to jack me up real good. His new toy, me, right in front of his eyes, you could tell he was already high on adrenaline. Well, I need to become more horizontal chat for this, because I don't need to do any, any shit. In the batting cages, eh? Hey, Birkin! Can't figure out if your luck is great or if it sucks, but either way, you're in some real shit now. That shit's starting to stack real high. Taking that slug to the air, I looked like a regular Van Gogh with my face all bandaged up. Mosca stood there tweaking the bandage with a knife while he was uh, went on talking his shit. Used to be in the major leagues, right? It's pretty badass, huh? So you famous or what? Apparently you were some kind of bad prodigy. Ended up as a pinch hitter, yeah? Well, look at your sorry ass now. The fuck are you even doing? Getting your shit ripped off while you're taking a little nap. Guess you're all... All you're good at now is fucking up, huh? Whatever. Been a while since I played me some baseball. Pitching machine was the arm-loading type. Probably Japanese. A shiny-ass arm launched a 95 mile per hour ball right in my goddamn face. I was fine. I dodged that first ball like nothing. Second ball too. Oscar started getting all frustrated and was screaming like a little bitch. Hey, old man! Quit moving, goddammit! What the hell, man? Somebody fasten this asshole's head in place for me. Uh, wait, hold up. Yeah, here we go. Mosca rewrapped a bandage around my face, made it into a blindfold, then he just stood back and watched. But no blindfold was gonna stop my ass. I thought maybe I could dodge the balls by listening for the sound. Seriously. You know how many years I spent playing baseball? Me and the old bag go way the fuck back. But my left ear was ringing like a bastard. It was basically useless. I'd forgotten about that. I took the next ball right to the fucking face. First strike, my brains are wobbling like jelly. Time suddenly stood still. I pissed myself. Oh boy. That man had a bad time. Second strike, I felt like getting hit in the cheek by a goddamn meteor. I was really, really fucking mad. Mad at Mosca. Like, if this was torture, I'd understand. Torture has a purpose, at least. But Mosca was just some fucking punk kid who got his jollies <gasps> off from violence. Was he getting his jollies? The kind of asshole who definitely beats his women. Apparently beating up old men was almost as fun. Miss Dick showed absolutely no respect for me and his shiny new toy. Just playing target practice. So when the third ball hit me right in the nose. Third strike, I blacked out. This darkness appeared out of nowhere, swallowed my bloody ass right up. All of a sudden I was up on the batting cage ceiling, like I was floating. I was totally conscious and calm, I could see my physical body lying on the floor. Ground, a group of guys standing over me looking down. And I was up there looking down on these guys. And then I swallowed up the darkness again. Started moving through the darkness. 
Next, this light appeared. It was like this being of light was reaching its hand out to me. So I reached out to it myself. I saw it. It was an old black dog. The dog was laughing, showing its fangs. I was fucking scared. Looking at this dog's face, like some kind of gag, it fucking terrified me. Feeling a fear blew up in my hydro- like a hydrogen bomb explosion. I read that all wrong, but that's fine. I let out a scream. And suddenly I was star uh, staring up at a hospital room ceiling. You get it? Grim Reaper had been riding me like a pony. To be continued. There you go, there's two. These are pretty short, actually. I'm glad I didn't wait to do these. There's only six of them as well. When I woke up in the hospital, it was like I'd come back from the dead. Doctor in charge was Calistigo Leone's. <laughs> I just don't know how to say that. Pa on payroll. He stuck my nose, cheekbones, jaw, and skull back together like a jigsaw puzzle, then set my face in place with a face guard so it would devolve back to shit again. This bad boy right here. In the hospital, I figured out why I was still alive. That third ball had knocked me out, and just as the fourth ball was about to put me down for that dirt nap, a guy named Greco apparently stood and uh, stopped the machine. Oh, a real fucking sweetheart. Mosca must have been pissed. He was all set on killing my ass off. Doc said the brain damage is pretty serious, warned me to keep still and quiet for a while after getting out of the hospital. I literally had some screws loose in my head. But I had something I wanted to do when I got out. I wanted to take my daughter out to eat. I wanted to sit down with her in our favourite diner and eat some nice tasty ass ro roast beef with gravy. I almost said roast beef. Roast beef! When Charlotte came to visit me, instead of flowers, she brought me beer and my bat. She was a good kid like that. She was still a little girl, but she really got me. I get pissed off seeing flowers for sick people. Just needed some beer. Vodka would have done too. That my trusty old wooden bat. Feel at peace when my bat's by my side. Charlotte knew that. Rofe Biff is my favourite, it's not. <laughs> that fucking punk showed up for a visit too. It was around a day before I said to leave. Musker shows up carrying a pink bouquet. Motherfucker, looked like he was going to pop the question to me or something. Greco, the guy who helped me out, who was right there behind him. Well, it explains why he's got that fucking face mask thing on. I've been wondering that for a while. For some reason, Mosca seems scared as shit. But the whole time, he grinned like a dick. He comes and stands next to the bed and starts up some crazy bullshit. Birkin, I really did you wrong. I went too far the last time we met. The fuck you talking about? Listen, you gotta believe me. I wasn't trying to kill you. What the fuck was that? It was just kind of, you know, I was high and all fucked up at the time. The fuck are you so scared of? Let's go ahead and sleep. You don't need to get up. Everything's cool, right? Hearing that, I got right the hell up. No, really, please, don't get up. You're fucking terrified. Picked up my little buddy resting there in bed. Took a full swing right in Mosca's face. Wow, okay. Mosca dropped to the floor, spraying blood from his mouth and nose. Droplets of blood splattered on those shitty fucking flowers. Greco looked down at Mosca on the floor and goes, Oh, god damn. One swing, you broke his neck. You sure didn't disappoint. I think he deserved it. That was my first kill. But even so, I didn't really feel anything special. Even though I thought that was kind of weird. I felt that all the shit was going down was Mosca's fault. It's not exactly like I had it out for him. It's just that he was the one who loosened those screws on my head. After that, I went and got me a new job. Killing. Greco headhunted me. He said way to pay by the day driver. Instead of a pay by the day driver, he wanted me to give me a yearly contract. Told me having a good stable job would be best for my daughter, and I was convinced. Greco was a freelance headhunter and agent, and had worked for an organization for a long time. Apparently he'd gotten the okay from Castiglione. Gilioni. <laughs> I'm never that's gonna come up in every chapter, and I'm gonna get it wrong every time. Made him a promise not to take revenge for what I did to Mosca. In exchange, I had to give priority to any organization sponsored jobs. Took the offer. No no, I spent my days swinging my buddy on hunting heads day in and day out. took to this job like an old worn in uniform. It was like, this was the way I was supposed to be. Who would have thought that I was good at anything other than baseball, huh? 
to be continued. No, okay. So that's how I become an assassin. Now to be continued. Alright, we're halfway through these. Chapter 4. She's so bad. So, even though I think uh, a lot of people are probably on their way to bed at this point, <laughs> I will be still watching the uh, the Normal Heroes free trailers after this to cap off the stream because I, uh, I do want to do want to look at those properly and show anyone who's interested. You know, sometimes people ask me, "Why go so far as to use a bat to kill your targets?" Me, I don't get why I should be using anything else. It's not like I've been using a bat since I was a kid, so I'm just used to it, or whatever. Because when I grab a bat, everything after that just comes naturally and I can act on instinct. All I gotta do when I find my target is zero in the center and hit it with the bat's sweet spot. If that target happens to be some dude's head, then the head zone gets cured of breathing real quick. For me, it's, it just doesn't work with anything beside a bat. That, and people make requests. People ask me to go, oh please take some guy's head off with a bat. The world is full of varying types of people with varying types of needs. Now if somebody, now asking someone to kill a guy with a bat, I won't go so far as to say it's major, but it's not exactly a minor kind of need either. When Charlotte disappeared, so right around the time I got an oh, okay, text. So right around the time I got used enough to this job to spout wisdom like that. She was all grown up. So I wouldn't be wouldn't have been surprised if she'd be out fucking around with some asshole. Dead Mo and I were like that back in the day. But that wasn't exactly what was going on. One day I get a video sent to me, uh, sent to my phone. I thought I said Badger at the bottom, it said Badger. So hit play on this weird, mysterious ass video. Charlotte vs. Bogart. First, there's this huge fat fuck standing there holding a chainsaw, facing him some broad or dressed up in some kind of weird costume or something. It's Charlotte. Charlotte's holding a bat in her hands. The one-on-one -on -one battle kicks off. Right about uh, her fucking with some asshole. I was expecting a different kind of fucking. The fight starts and Charlotte throws a bat all of a sudden. I don't remember ever teaching her how to fight by throwing your precious bat. In fact, I never actually taught her how to fight in the first place. Spinning bat landed a clean hit right in that big fat foot's leg, uh, left leg. While he's bent over in pain, Charlotte goes over and picks up the bat. Then she swings the bat all the way back like a golf club. That boy's head shakes like it's going to pop off and his teeth fly right out of his face. I laugh my ass off. Charlotte's moves back up and, uh, moves back to f in to follow up. Fucking hell, I can't read. She brings the bat down on the crown of the fat boy's head, 21 times in all. Yeah, that sounds like bad girl from what I remember. Video ends and it takes all of five minutes for a chill to finally run down my spine. Look on Charlotte's face, I've never seen it before. She had the kind of eyes you only see in the dead. Her looks, her behavior, the whole setting is also fucking unreal. From that point on, these videos started getting sent to me regularly. The videos were always sent to my phone, I had no idea who was sending them and never got a reply. Get a new video every few days. Charlotte kept on fighting all kinds of people. Each time she'd always land a finishing blow. I started to realize something after watching all these videos. My daughter had become a woman I didn't know. Her name was Bad Girl. She was like an assassin doll, locked in some ki inside some kind of unreal space. It's like she had killed too many people and had become this fictitious idol in an imaginary world. And it was that fucking asshole Travis who killed that idol. That's right, Travis did kill. To be continued. Right, two left. This is interesting though. Seeing Badman's story and what happened to him. Seems a bit more fleshed out as a character. I thought he was just a weird guy wearing like a leather strap on his face, like Mankind the Wrestler. When Charlotte was about four or five years old, I used to call her Charlie. It was about when I taught her how to swing a bat. Listen up, Charlie. You need to find the center of the bat, feel around and find the bat's core, and find the core of the ball too. Slam the cores together and that ball will fly for miles. You can even knock it to the moon. Learn how to find the center. Okay, try swinging the bat. The final video was sent to me on Human Summon Night. Can't remember how many I'd gotten to that point. This is going to be Bad Girl vs. Travis, isn't it? Every time I'd get one, I'd automatically grab my phone and watch it. How was I supposed to do? 
So feeling like I had top quality hangover, I grabbed my phone and glued myself to the screen. Just like bad girl, I turned into a junkie. Yep. So those of you who missed No More Heroes 1, this uh, this might give you a little bit of backstory as to what happened between these two. I assume it's probably going to describe it. When the final video started up, I saw Travis. Only took me a few seconds to figure it out. This asshole called Travis is going to win this fight to the death. Meaning bad girl is going to die. Got any fucking clue how hard it is to watch your own kid get killed? Even if that kid turned into someone else. Everything happened someplace else. A place where there wasn't jack shit I could do about it. Inside the screen of my phone. Do you even have kids? Whatever, it doesn't matter anyway. Travis is overwhelming. Even in the battle itself was pretty close. Even if the battle itself was pretty close, he really had this unique presence. Travis Touchdown was kind of a hero. Bad Girl was an eccentric villain character. The video made that much painfully clear. And then Bad Girl was dead. The death just didn't seem real. In that moment, I thought maybe this world itself was some kind of fucked up simulation. Yeah, I know. Everyone tries to escape reality when faced with shit they don't want to deal with. The same when her mum died. And now, with my daughter gone, I was all alone again. I no longer had work to provide for my family. There's nothing left me anymore. Except for my revenge. Then, I thought about a few things. Simple questions that anyone would have had. What exactly made Charlotte turn out like that? Who sent all those videos? Were they the ones who took Charlotte away, got her all fucked up like that? And then locked her up in that weird ass world? And for what? Got no idea what the motivations were, but it was definitely someone who knows me. And I'm thinking you can fill in the blanks for me. Right, Greco? <sighs> to be continued. Aw oh, shit! Episode 6. Change. I believe this is the last one. So I can talk now? Well, it's my turn to tell you something. Your story's interesting enough, but you're misunderstanding a few things. First, as you know, I work as a headhunter. I scope out good recruits and refer to them to the organization. Sometimes I even dabble in HR development. Assassins are especially sought after. There are several types of assassins. You, Birkin, are the slightly atypical psychopath type. Really got a knack for killing. You don't seem to remember, but that incident at the bank ages, something happened there. At the time, you were all tied up to a chair like I am now. You took the three balls to the face of the pitching machine, then seemed to have passed out, but just as the next ball came flying in, you stood up suddenly and caught the ball barehanded. I don't even know how you got out of the ropes you were tied, well, they're tying you down. You grabbed the bat and lunged at the pitching machine. You were howling. Everyone was shocked, and they ran after you. They really beat the shit out of you. Your abnormal behavior freaked everyone out. Mosca turned green and just stood there, petrified. That's how intense your explosive energy was. It took these guys ten full minutes to knock you out. You'd stop moving, but you still had a pulse. Mosca tried to finish you off, but I stopped him. And a bit of a revelation. Sometimes this sort of thing just happens. Special abilities suddenly springing into bloom. Your violent nature and skills became fully apparent in the hospital room when you beat Mosca to death. So when I decided to headhunt you, but then I met an even more impressive Wonder Kid. Well, Wonder Kind, that says, but I think it's Wonder Kid. That's right, your daughter! First met Charlotte while you were still basically just a vegetable in that coma. She was still in her teens and she had your eyes. Years later, while you were away from home working as an assassin, I made contact with Charlotte and tested out a little experiment I've been wanting to try. Kidnapped her and brought her to face to face with fear of death. Her being a lady and all, there was no way I was going to damage that pretty face with a pitching machine. Plus it was a bit of a hassle anyway, so I used an electric chair for my experiment instead. Sat her down and hit her with voltage that would almost, but not quite, kill her. I was hoping that near-death experience would help bring out her true abilities as it did with you. The results were astonishing. Something that had been dormant deep down inside her, something terrifying had awakened. Being your daughter, she had your eyes and blood, but being so young, she was also very pliable. Her skills surpassed even yours, and she was faithful to her instincts as well. It was Charlotte herself who said she wanted to get in on the ranked assassin battles, you know. She also asked me to film her killing. Now don't be too surprised, but also she asked me to send you the videos. I think she simply wanted your praise. There's no way to be certain now, of course. The final movie, however, even I was somewhat conflicted about sending it to you. 
but losing Bad Girl saddened me. Believe me, that much is true. I think the Bad Girl lost in battle and lost her life. I wanted to tell you myself so you could share my feelings. That's really all I wanted. Is that so? Can I say something? What is it? You're a psychopath, pal. No, oh, I won't deny my own abnormality. Abnormity. Didn't know abnormity was a word. But then again, everyone has something abnormal about them. Don't you think? I'm gonna split your fucking head open in a minute. This is revenge, so there's no other way about it. After I kill you, I'm gonna kill Travis. Guess that's just a natural flow of things since I've captured and tied up, or been captured and tied up like this. But Travis isn't gonna be such an easy kill. You're gonna have a rough time there. What I don't get is, why does all of this sound like total bullshit? None of this seems real. Am I actually dead or what? Either when the truck got shot up or when I took those balls to the dome in the batting cage. Did I just up and die during one of those times? That, or maybe I'm still alive and this is the ICU and I'm seeing some kind of deathbed nightmare. I understand how you feel. I too sometimes feel like this world is some sort of virtual reality. You know how people talk about fate? I feel like this strange coincidence just line up so perfectly. Things happen like they're meant to. Makes me feel like there's someone behind the scenes pulling all the strings. Or like I've seen the Grim Reaper himself. It sure is some helpful shit. How about we finish up this game? Dead. I'm not going to do a female voice. This is this seems relatively serious, and I've read it normally up to now. What the hell is up with all this frustration? All this killing for jack shit? Fuck this. Fuck all of this. Oh yeah. Next up. Travis Touchdown. I'm the black dog lurking in that asshole shadow. Alright then. Time to go kill the shit out of that dickhead. And then, that's where this game started. And he didn't kill me, and instead we started playing video games together or something. <laughs> like, that's the only thing, I think, that doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, is I guess maybe he wanted his daughter back so badly that he just kind of gave up on his revenge, I don't know. Maybe he thought Travis is going to be the only person who could like, really help bring her back. I don't know. And I guess Travis's only real, like, compulsion to bring her back is that he wanted to see what the fuck was going on with the death thing. Like, the death drive. He didn't really have any reason to bring her back other than this guy wanted to kill him. But he could probably just kill him. Because he's pretty fucking strong. You laying on the car? Alright, chat. So, <clears throat> that is the end of Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. I'm glad I finished that off, uh, because I think that would have been a bit weird to do at the start of uh, Sonic Adventure. Like, quite a serious tone to it. Um, but, there you go, we'll level up there. I am very quickly going to load up, and we're going to look at the trailer for No More Heroes 3 because um, there are two, and I have seen them, but they kind of fill in the last little bit of what I want to call the, the lead-up story, as it were. So, first off, there's the announcement trailer, I believe. No more heroes free. trailer. Alright, so... Oh, we, wait, there's a new trailer? Oh, shit. Extended Uncensored E3 trailer. There's, like, a Japanese one here that I've not seen. No More Heroes Free Series Digest movie. I might just watch that on my own at some point. I don't think that's that's like a six minute long thing that I don't think is necessarily like a trailer. And I don't think it's in English. I'm just going to double check. Something. Are you guys aliens? Oh, it is in English. Mm, maybe I will watch it. Okay, right. Well, 
There are like three trailers here. Probably about 10 minutes worth of footage in total. Maybe a little bit, tiny bit more. Okay, so we've got this one, this one. What is a... Not that. Well, is that fucking... It's gone to a different video. Very good. Someone going, what is up, guys? He's probably like, no, we're here. Three trailers. <laughs> Okay, so that one, the return, and then new trailer, which I have not seen. Right, so let's start with this. We have, um, this is the initial launch trailer. It's an extended version. Extended uncensored, it says. I actually haven't seen the extended version of this. So this is, um... Was today the 4th of July? If not, Oops. is the Empire striking back? This is back in what? 2019 Looks E3 like time. Are gonna get weird today. Now you might remember Mr. This Wormhole and Mr. Black Hole or whatever. The only clue I had that this was a No More Heroes game was his, um voice actor and the apartment. But I do remember calling this out it's going to be a new one here again. Yeah, they purposefully obfuscated this. And then that happened. And then that was like, okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. There's probably some type dude waiting for me up ahead, all yoked and powerful and trying to take over the world or something. I love how obviously not a video game this trailer is, but they put like UI on it and stuff. <laughs> and I think that's on purpose. I think they did that to take the piss. What? There are no heroes in this world? He said fuckhead and then they censored something. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around. Here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Now let's do this. Start the game. Hello? Hello? Yes, the tiger has awakened. Is that you, Travis? Red, green, dark, black, blood. The cursed blade of light runs wild. Now, the battle begins. Welcome back, Travis. To the Garden of Madness. Right, so, that's trailer one. These next two are much more substantial. This trailer came out again without saying it was No More Heroes, chat. And you tell me how long it takes you to realize that this would be No More Heroes if you didn't know, if I wasn't telling you. If I just said there's a trailer for so a thing. Today was a bus too. Because it took me a fucking while. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Damon came and welcome in. The battle begin. But yeah, I thought this was like a trailer for some new like anime tie-in game. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was watching. I was like, what is Nova? Interesting. Best friends forever, Foo. Yeah, yeah, best friends forever, dude. I think he said Foo. I think that's the thing's name. Oh, also, by the way, this this trailer came out um 
about half a year after the first trailer. It was the first thing we'd seen in the game after that initial trailer. To make it even more confusing. It looks like this is goodbye, Fu. You're going back to your home. Damon, I love you. <laughs> In 20 <laughs> years, fake. I will return. Oh, I thought you were saying my name. <laughs> Promise? Damon, I will return. No matter what. Promise. Go, Fu. So chat, has anyone, would anyone have realized yet that it's a No More Heroes trailer? <laughs> Sir, it is time for- This is where I knew, this moment. to go back in. Because I was like, that's Sylvia. That's fucking Sylvia. an appointment. But- I am not aware of. Just watch. And this is where we get an idea that we're not fighting against assassins. Is that you? In this one. Damon, I love you! Hey, Damon, bro! Looks like you've been living large, Damon. You used our powers to get yourself a pretty sweet piece of the pie. Are you really, Fu? Thanks to you, I was able to return to my land. And now here I am, a full-on prince. Congratulations. But I'm hella bored. I got nothing to do. I wiped out the neighboring planet, but then I was court-martialed and exiled to the Black Hole Prison. These dudes are my buddies. We met in the hole. Nice to meet you, everyone. Hey, Damon. Let's team up and make this planet ours. Ours? What do you mean? I'm talking about taking it over, duh! Do it! <laughs> what did you do? Apparently, superheroes are popular in this country. So we're gonna jump on that. Right, Mr. Big Shot? Phew. What are you? I'm a goddamn superhero. <laughs> I was like, I love how even all the way up to there, they're like calling goddamn superhero. You must mean me. I know galactic superhero rankings? Uh, what? Uh, superhero rankings. 2020 release? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Alright, this is the last trailer. I haven't seen this one. Also, 2020 release, Good Luck, is quite funny because it didn't come out in 2020. It's coming out in a couple of months. Gene! Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Right, so this has got a bit of that initial trailer in it. But it's already considerably different. Who are they? Oh, Shinobu. Hey, can I ask you something? Are you guys aliens? I don't think they're here to talk, Master. Oh shit! This looks like fun! Let me play! You know how to take these guys down? Beat them to fucking death! Strategy is born from battle. I'll take the one in the middle. Do whatever you want with the rest. Let me have some fun, fucking losers! Let's go! Start the game. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Good quality. Hey gamers! <laughs> Limit your gaming to 10 hours per day. Any more, and you're seriously gonna die. Hope everyone's doing great today. 
your good old girl next door, Sylvia, is going to introduce another new game today. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. <laughs> this is her YouTube channel, is it? We're gonna get to see her, his VTuber daughter. You know the prequels, so you're not interested? Wait, wait, wait. You can totally pick it up from three. Watch this little show for all you need to know about No More Heroes. All right, this is cool. The warrior who spends his day spanking the monkey scores a bean katana in an online auction and then finally makes his debut as an assassin. It turns out he's got a real knack for battle and enters the rankings of the United Assassins Association. He then goes on to challenge and subsequently defeat all the other ranked assassins, eventually reaching the number one spot. For some weird reason, in the sequel, No More Heroes 2, he's dropped down to number 51 in the rankings, fights his way back up to the number one spot, and finally reclaims his title. He then hooks up with the woman he loves. This is really quiet, by the way. It's not just me. Then, the Stravis Strikes Again, released in 2019. This was a spin-off with new adventures for Travis. In Travis Strikes Again, he actually goes inside the video game world. Travis has to fight video game characters, and he meets people that are like him. It's the kind of experimental game that'll get farmed over in 10 years. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Show her on Metacritic. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fucking picture of Suda 51 on a bike, why? The hero in the middle of the action is Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin who has twice claimed the number one spot in the assassin ranking. Head. What? Let me introduce you to the girls fighting with Travis. Shinobu Jacobs, who, after having her arms severed in a battle with Travis, arbitrarily decided to become his pupil and now thinks of him as her master. This crazy broad over here is Bad Girl, a full-on psycho killer who beats people to death with her bat. Travis once killed her, but she was apparently brought back by some weird game console or whatever. It's another advert. Just play this game and you'll pick up on all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> an ad <laughs> fucking advert for drama stories again, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it's very self aware. Well, there you go, that's what Shinobi looked like she played. Like, they skipped it. They sk <laughs> skipped the advert. Good. In the new No More Heroes 3, what was once a fight between assassins is now a battle to the death on a galactic scale. A battle between a legendary assassin and a mysterious alien army. Even if you haven't played the prequels, it's awesome. But it's even more awesome if you play the prequels first. Gamers have but one goal. To take down the opponent in front of you. Hurry up and grab the controller. The game has already started. Ready? What to do, right? Just destroy all those nasty aliens. They are right before your eyes. I can feel the blood lust raging. You have no idea what you're thinking. You need to pump up that energy. Eat all the popcorn and chips you want. <laughs> They're all like exploding in the rainbow juice. Till your controller is covered in grease. You gotta kill, kill, and then kill some more. And that's the uh, that's the tentative release date, chap.
28th. And I plan on playing it when it comes out. Yeah, and no, there's your advert for the, uh, the bringing out, already brought out one and two on the Switch. Apparently they're doing it in some sort of weird box with money on it. Oh god, now there's a VTuber! <laughs> Is that Gene? <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, chat, so. Real, real quick, like. Um... I'm not going to raid today. Oh, there we go. We've got some Logico in the look. I'm not going to raid today because it's very late. Uh, I just want to finish up, get my VOD sorted out and whatnot. But that was it for um, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. That is it for No More Heroes for a while. But like I say, I'm going to be playing No More Heroes 3 when it comes out. I think it comes out the Saturday... Or the Friday, like Saturday, that I will be doing the big sub giveaway night. And then I'm going to start it the week after. Wait, No More Heroes 1 and 2 are on the Switch? They are indeed, yes. We played No More Heroes 2 recently. And I played the Switch version on the stream. It's a good port. It's like a HD sort of port of it. Uh, but yeah, that's it, everybody, for Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes. Next week will be the start of Sonic Adventure. Oh boy. A game that I notoriously do not like. But maybe I was wrong all those years. So let's try it again. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me tonight, everybody. Thank you very much for sticking around. We're going to finish the stream up there. Um, my next stream won't be until Saturday, where I'm going to be streaming AI Dungeon 2 at 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, so if you want to come and join me along for that, you can. Um, also, if you want to give me a follow on Twitch if you haven't, it'd be great appreciated if you did. You can also follow me on my other social links, typing exclamation mark links in the chat, or you can come and follow us on the Discord, that's bot.gg forward slash Discord, for the Vikings Twitch, where you can join our little community we have there. So, love to have you along, everybody, but that is it. I'm tired, I'm sure you are too. Have a great Friday, everyone, if I don't see you around in various streams and whatnot. And that's it from me. Take care. Good night.